until later. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Hiya. Back, How are back, you? We're back. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hi, everybody. Oh. Hi, Vintage Memories. What do you got there, Brian? Oh, Brian bought stuff today. Maybe. Mr. Buys a lot. I, I may have or may not have bought some stuff. Uh, I see you bought some stuff. Thank you, Mama G. Mama G, drop the registration link for those of you who may not be registered. Please fill out the registration form by clicking on that link and filling in the information. We appreciate it. We do not um, require immediate payment here. We do invoice. That's why we ask you to register. Richard Rex. Sanchez, I be here. Hi, Richard. Hi, Richard. <laughs> Hey, Mary. I'm Nash. just showing you guys stuff while we while we say hi to people. That's all. Little Martin's Nest. How are you, hon? Thanks for coming in. Connie's books and things. Hey, folks, hi, just Connie. got home from an estate sale. It was pretty much a bust. Well, good news, Connie. Won't be a bust here. <laughs> we got you covered, Connie. We got you covered. We're going we're gonna to cover you, Connie, for everything. I went to the flea market this morning, and what you see on the table is what I bought today. I'm just going to silence my phone so we don't hear all that nonsense in the back. Picky Nikki in the house. Hi, Nikki. How you doing, Nikki? Hey, Lindsay. Flippin' Flamingos. Renee, I just saw Hi, your Renee. message. My phone died when I was out before, and I just got to charge it up a bit. Um, yes, that would be perfect. I will do that 100%. Back and, Joe, I will message you back. I got an email from you as well, or you and Renee. Hi, Tamara. How you doing, Backpack Treasures? Good to see you. Hey, Joyce. Big Sky. Hi, George Gallegos. Can we give George a wrench? Yes. Hey, Amy. George should have a wrench. Okay. Yeah, I will definitely give George a wrench. Amy, how are you, hon? Good to see you. Nancy, Nancy. What's up, girl? Working and listening. Listening. Okay. <laughs> Greg Wolf. Hi, honey. James S. Welcome, welcome. Hey, April Mars is here. Hi, April. Hi, April. And Vintage Memories. Hello, hello. Warm and ready for an auction. Awesome. Just one more week to bid till I'm on another uh -oh. hiatus. I forgot Pam's watching the auction. <laughs> Uh-oh. I just got yelled at. <laughs> Betty Webb, nice to meet you. <laughs> Pam, I'm going to try to sell it all today so you don't even see it. Nancy, 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 what's happening? Mo, welcome. Thanks for coming in. Hello, Janine. Janine, catch him in the house. Uh, Barbara, to bid on Donna's channel, if you are registered here with T at Auctions for You, I believe you are also registered on Donna Badalino's channel also. 100%. Hey, Barbara. Hey, Cindy. Mrs. Anonymous, what's going on? Pam Hewitt, hello, hello. Mary T, how are you? <laughs> Paula, Hi. nice to see you, Paula. Thanks for coming in. Kyle Teron, Hi, Sandra. what's going on, Kyle? Hey. Hey, Mama G. <laughs> Sorry, Mama G. I should have asked you thumbs I up. I wasn't ready. <laughs> and Mama. It's all good. Hey, Tammy. Hi, hon. Carol Tarvis. What's going on? Uh, hey, George. Thanks for coming in. Pam, what if I sell it all today? Do, am I still in trouble tomorrow then? Hey, Stephen. Kyle Elliott in the house. As soon as you move, you'll need to email me all your secret spots. Yeah, T. Kyle wants to know all your secret spots. <laughs> I don't know if that's so true. Hey, Wes. Hey, Renee. There she is. What's up, Pam? <laughs> don't let Pam scare me. Wes, she you don't knows. understand. What's going on? She, she has keys to my warehouse. She has access to me when I sleep sometimes. She knows where I live, and she will stab me. 
Uh oh. She's scary. Uh oh. Christy S. Happy Sunday. Shriker is here. Thank you, Shriker. Yes, we're sharing on Twitch. Thank you for helping out. Ooh, barbecue pork tacos. Shell UK. Hi, hi, hi. I'm doing good, Paula. Thank you for asking. I'm, I'm going to look forward to, to a restful puppy. Monday. It's not a restful Monday, but <laughs> somewhat yeah. restful Monday. Hey, Chandra. It's never restful, but. I'm so scared now about coming into work tomorrow because Pam will be here. I may just call off tomorrow and let them do the work. That way I don't get hurt. Hey, Easton peoples. Hey, Trish. Hi, hi. <laughs> Zygon Tiger. Hello, hello. Thank you, Wes. Thanks. I actually, I actually just went out. Um, it was my brother's birthday yesterday, so we went for a nice meal. Dad always wants to treat when it's somebody's birthday, so there was me and my husband, my dad, my brother, his wife, their two kids. Gary. And my two sons with their spouses. So we had a nice meal. I actually ate a little bit, which was good. I didn't think I was going to go and eat, but they made me a really nice piece of chili and sea bass. But then after you eat like that, you feel like, oh, I got to lay down. <laughs> and that can't happen. I might have to, I can't even have caffeine. It's like, how am I going to perk up? <laughs> But yes, I am feeling bad. Sent a registration. Who? Jamira. We'll check it. I, we'll check I it, Jamira. Thank you. Thank you. Who did I miss? Sherilyn. Hi, hon. Westside Gary in the house. Julie Morris. Awesome auction. They they got it. Had a nice crowd, a nice turnout today. Congratulations, ladies, on your first auction. Good job. Yep. Thank you all for everybody who went over there and supported yes. Julie and Jill. We appreciate you. They guys. are awesome people. Westside Gary. Hi, hon. And Jamira, I registered first time. Okay. Um, we'll have Mama G take a look quick and looking for a deal in the house. Hello, hello. Tea. Oh yeah, I have what? some register. I have registrations for Tree Hug and Hippie Mom. Okay, and Jamira. Okay. Awesome. All right, I got Jamira. I and also Tree Hug and Hippie Mom. Make sure you make a comment so we can rent you. Yes. Hella Buff Chicks. And if you don't have Hella Buff Chicks, I have it. Okay. We might as well wrench Pam, I guess. I don't know. I She's guess. got a buying problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. I forgot to change my emoji. I'll be back. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I am. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Appreciate. I really appreciate all. Big Grizzly, how are you? Are you on a different device, Big Grizzly? Why did you lose your wrench? Okay. We got you. We got you covered. Thank you. Thank you guys for all the loving. The lovings. Oh, we so appreciate And as everybody can see, T's feeling much better. She's here. Yes. In all of her radiant glory. One day at a time, <laughs> as they say. And truly, it's going to be one day at a time. <laughs> all right. So, guys, if you are Sorry. new here and you are in the background and you are not um, wrenched, that we will drop a link here for you that you can go ahead and fill out the registration form. We do invoice here. Um, we do treat this as a business, so we don't require immediate payment. We just ask that you pay your invoice promptly upon receipt. Um, so when you do receive that invoice, please um, make that your number one priority. We are... Um, Bidding in $2 increments until we get to $50. $5 increments once we get to uh, $50 to $100. And $10 increments once we're over $100. If you are Hi, Jerry. bidders, 
we do appreciate that you say out once you are no longer interested and we will call it when we get down to two bidders that are left okay this is important because this is kind of like a new thing we're doing last two bidders once the one bidder says out we're going to just sell it so if anybody's contemplating on placing a bid please do it before those two bidders one of them goes out or you may lose out on your chance we just do right. that to move along a lot quicker it has worked out for us yesterday so um and also we're not going to stop for you guys to register so if anybody wants to register if we can go ahead and do that now it'd be greatly appreciated Make sure you're on live chat as well. Yes, Sorry, live please. chat, not top chat. Thank you, Mama G. I always forget about that one. And, and Mama G, can you drop the link to register also? Because I see Jerry Stonecipher just came in. He's one of my Facebook people. I did so. drop it. Um, let me okay. check and see if it came in. If you know them, I'm fine with T wrenching them right away. Okay, Jerry Stonecipher is from my Facebook, one of my Facebook buyers. Do you have. Um, do you have a registration from him, an email or something? So we know. I, you have them. Yeah, I have all of his information because he's bought from me on Facebook. So Okay, that's fine then. Okay. We'll go ahead and wrench up, Jerry. But if you can fill out the form, it will help because you'll be then registered with myself and Donatella Bottolino um, when you're not over on Brian. So this way, if you want to come in and join us one night, we appreciate it. Shush, you have a wrench. Why are you doing a wrench check? I shush us. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bluegrass, what's up, Anthony? <laughs> he wants knives. Oh, that's funny. I know, Richard. I'm sorry. I don't have any today. So I'll tell you what I have real quick today. I brought some more um, vintage Rolling Stone magazines. I have comics. I have baseball, football, and some signed pieces i brought some postcards i brought some toys uh some records i have some 45s and some lps and i'll grab things as i need them if you guys want to see something different i certainly probably have it here somewhere um brian is going to go up first today this brian has a special offer for you guys thank you karen's at the beach Was right and it it will be a little weird. So it'll be, you know, it, it's an expensive offering, but I want to make it so that everybody understands how serious I am about that. We want YouTube to be our only source to sell in. So it will be a little strange and it's very expensive um, or semi expensive, but not for what it is. But I will do that once T is ready for me to do so. So the floor is yours. Okay. So everybody knows I have a buying addiction. Uh, I'm going to pull the camera. I went to the flea market this morning and everything you see from this box of men's gay interest um, magazines, and there's a few other magazines, but like Mr. America, the Your Physique, Strength and Health, that type of stuff, all of these photo albums, all these are postcards. Uh, this is a candy paper there's a civil war letter there's some uh big chew or big chief chewing tobacco indian cards all of those postcards back there are western or native american related there are exhibit cards that are baseball related plus this gives you a little preview of what we'll be selling today if nobody takes this offer i'm okay, going to you offer bought all that to today yes okay so I bought the Space 1999 on open packs. Um, a guy called me last night, said he was going to be at the local flea market that I go to on a regular basis, and he had most of this stuff came from him. So I went there and I bought all of this, and I bought it with the intention for the auctions, but I was driving here and I was talking to T on the phone, and I was like, hey, maybe what I'll do is, like whenever I've done a few deals in the past on my YouTube channel, like, hey, I spent $2,500 on this stuff today. And I did. I spent around $2,500. And if anybody's interested, my price for all of it before the auction starts is four grand. You get everything that you see on the table. If somebody wants it, put 4K in the comments. If you don't, no problem. We'll bring it in much smaller lots. But I know there's a few people that are looking for major amounts of stuff. And this was the easiest way for me to do it. 
but like this box here and this box are 18, late 1800s um, advertising exhibit cards. So you can see like this is for soap and on the back is an advertisement. Uh, there's flowers, there's people, there's, you know, die cuts. There's about 1300 pieces in these two boxes. There's Elvis picture radio, uh, picture disc uh, records. This whole box is about three or 400 uh, movie press photos. And these do very well. There's, you know, a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. These are cast iron. This is a cast iron piece for a bank. Then this is a beautiful early cast iron bank. And it is an original. And this is a tin bank. There's a, teenage, uh, a T2 figure that I believe is a bootleg figure, which is kind of cool. Then there's the T2 cards. I got the two of those together. Um, Dallas unopened packs. And then we have the baseball exhibit cards. These are from either 78 or 80. They're not super old, but they have like Ty Cobb and Babe Ruth and stuff like that. Honus Wagner. Um, there are probably over a thousand postcards somewhere in that neighborhood. And there are some really good postcards here, like real photo stuff that I actually pulled out of an album that the guy had. No, Courtney, excuse me, Brian, one second. No, that includes shipping. Yes, that includes shipping. It's not local pickup. It's not just local pickup. Yep. It's shipping. And yeah, yes, this I one would include shipping. Brian is doing a truckload lot. Yeah, so this is just, I bought this today and I just wanted to see. I have a lot of good buyers that come in today and they're here and I know it's a lot of money um, for anybody. Like obviously we run a business and have, you know, multiple sources and outcomes, but this is, you know, this whole photo album is probably is dated like 1959. So it'd be during the Viet, uh, Vietnam war. And I believe these are like training exercises. There's military, there's tanks and stuff. That photo album's, a good photo album. It's it's definitely very valuable. Uh, the, there's multiple photo albums in the back that are 1899 uh, into the early 1900s. Then this whole box here is gay interest. It is a Herculean Physiques lot. Is what generally, you see them as. It is, is Hercules. Paladin. This is this is my favorite. No, no, no. I'll ship it in multiple boxes. It'll it'll ship in four or five boxes. I spread it out on the table. This is my favorite album um, out of what I bought, even though it's not the oldest album, but it's it's Marines and military related, but it is probably World War II or earlier. I've got um, Tom I'll show you guys. asking if you could do a quick flip through of the records. Yeah, the records are all like, it's just Elvis and Beatles. So I'll okay. show that to you. So Jap Torpedo, um, there's, you know, photos of dead Japanese. So that's just how you kind of have an idea. Jap uh, ship sunk off the coast. You know, there's a decap. There's a photo of decapitated Japanese soldiers. This stuff's really, really valuable by itself. Um, you know, they they actually removed his gold teeth when he died. So these photos are pretty awesome. So if and we don't get a 4,000 bid, we're going to break it down? Correct. And we're going to sell okay. smaller lots. This will be what I bring to you guys today. It's just to show you guys that, like, hey, what I am buying, even though it is definitely worth putting on eBay, like this album alone was a few hundred bucks that I paid for it, some of these individual photos will sell for close to that. Right. So Fiji natives, you know, so it is, you know, obviously there's boobies. Up oh, in the first five minutes of the auction. Boobies, where? Sorry. Shh, yep. Courtney's oh, here. I said Courtney. I said sorry. I was fast. <laughs> <laughs> so, but awesome, used to awesome photo with album. Brian. Yeah, yeah. Courtney doesn't yell at me because she knows it ain't gonna help. If Pam can't control me, Courtney can't control me. So. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle, Kyle's like he and Donna. Here's a T-shirt, starting bid five dollars. Brian's like, "All right, one lot. Give me four grand of dead body." <laughs> Picture disc, Elvis. <laughs> you know, Yoko Ono, kiss, kiss, kiss. Uh, just like starting over. There's multiple multiples of this record. I don't know why. 
or how and another picture <laughs> disc of elvis <laughs> picture disc of elvis more picture disc exclusive photo disc of elvis the king i have no clue when these are from or what they were i just thought they were kind of neat there was a box offered to me today of 78s it was like a hundred elvis 78s and i probably should have bought it it was 150 dollars but as you can see almost all of these are that same john lennon beatles record and then the exclusive photo disc of elvis presley so i'm not even sure what those are from but that's what we got for you if hey, anybody's Jonathan interested Rosemary. just put the 4k in there and we'll do it if not t is going to sell you guys stuff and I'm going to clear the table so that I can make this into more manageable, smaller lots. And we'll do our average starting, you know, at pretty much what it's going to cost me to ship it. And away we go. Nikki <laughs> says, I can't do it because Brian will stick a thousand post-its in there. that say 4,000. Tell him I said so. <laughs> uh, uh, there, yeah, there, there's no post-its on this lot if somebody buys the whole lot. Oh, this is a good lot then, Nancy or Nikki. Nobody would know. <laughs> Pam's like, yeah, I'm not feeling well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I, Pam also said, I'm not shipping all this. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Nancy, this is, yeah, this is what I bought this morning. Um, you know, I got a call last night. Guy said he's going to be there. He's going to have stuff that I'd be interested in. He actually showed me a photo album of early China, but he wanted 5,000 for that one album. And I just couldn't pull the trigger to buy it. Um, early China photos are very 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 expensive like you know can be thousands and thousands of dollars each but i couldn't do it so okay so since we don't have anybody in the whole thing let's go ahead and go over to t and we're going to start doing that all right and and obviously if there's anybody interested just put it in there i can always set up you know a payment plan type thing you know i can click on the little button on paypal where you can make payments or whatever but thought i would show it to you guys all right yeah i mean it's an awesome deal at 4k believe me it is yeah there's 1400 trade cards so the way i look at those is even if they're five dollars that's seven grand worth of trade cards the press photos we sell for 17 to 25 dollars a piece there's 300 of those and then that's not counting any of the photographs or the gay interest magazines or the unopened right. non-sports cards so KJ says he only has three thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars. I'll <laughs> front him the other dollar if we don't I'll have to wait. KJ, Mama G and yeah. I split it fifty cents each. <laughs> fifty cents yeah. each. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Harry Humstone. Hi, Harry. What's up, Harry? Um. All right. So if there is no interest. Okay. Yep. So I can start clearing the table, and we're we going to clear the it table. Up. That's it manageable lots all right all right i'm gonna grab this one first and it's comic lot first thing i'm gonna include though is a batman rate book and record that's a batman book and record it is let's see if there's a year on this and let me know if we don't see comments from Pam wait, for a wait, little wait, while. Wait, 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 sold, 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 sold. Kyle, four thousand dollars. Okay, who bought it? Kyle. Kyle, Kyle Turan. Okay. Okay. All right, we're sold. Congratulations, Kyle. Kyle thank you. Okay. All right, we're sold. We're sold, sold, sold. Okay, everybody have a great night. I'm going to bed. See you guys later. Okay, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but we'll give you a few minutes to put that stuff away and get your next lot ready. Yep, yep. Just uh, keep selling until I let you know. Okay, yeah, I was going to say, just let me know when you're ready. All right, Batman record. I was trying to look for a year for you guys, but congratulations, Kyle. That's an awesome lot. You'll make big bucks on that one. Yeah, you and your brother should both split it, just uh, split the workload. Yeah. I don't see a year on this one, but it's got a dollar forty nine book and record set. So that's the first thing in the slot. Then I have this droids. It's a Star Wars comic. 
third issue. And that is from 1986. Then I'm including this detective, Max Ham. It's a big graphic novel. $10, let's go. He said no. Okay. We got Hot Shots Avengers. The rest of these are pretty much, I think, uh, all bagged and boarded. Cyber Force, issue two. This is Nightman, issue one. Venom, issue three. Secret City Saga, four of four. Magnus. Issue 29. I'll pop my chat back out. It fell for some reason. This one is Future Force, issue 14. Hardcore, issue 15. We've got Vintage Memories at 30. Okay, thank you guys. Future Fours, Issue 9. Hawk World, Issue 6. Brian, I think, you, or yeah, take a picture to send to Kyle Terran so he can see everything that was on the table. <laughs> he said he should have got a Kyle, screenshot first. Kyle, don't worry. I made a video of what I bought for my channel. So I actually have a video of the stuff in the car and when I laid it out on the table. Oh, so cool. I can take a screenshot from that. Nice. XO Man, number 25. Brian needs to open his own credit card for the auction. <laughs> hey, I wonder if I could do that. I wonder if you could. That would be fun. That would be. Batman. Plus, I get interest then. Issue 457. There's a lot of ways you can do creative financing, people. Believe me. First of all, if you're using PayPal, I mean, depending on your credit, I get six months interest free on any of my purchases. Just saying. I do so too. I can float things. So the, the PayPal credit card is a great thing if you can do it. Um, but working capital loans. I do that a lot. I do working. I did working capital loans for the last buy. I had to. Animal man. Almost paid off though. Yay! <laughs> Are you? Yeah, such a great feeling. That is fantastic. I know. That does not mean you can buy more storage units though. I know. I know. I'm going to behave myself. I promise. And that okay. does not mean you can turn around and go do this deal again. <laughs> Mr. Buys a lot. Wait, what deal? I've already done this. This is already done. Right, but you're going to go out and buy more so you can do that again. Oh, I don't know. You never know what I'll do. <laughs> <laughs> bloodshot that looks like number zero is that possible to have a number zero issue yes they okay. issue those right before the first issue sometimes as like a preview okay money me absolutely cheeseburgers for money me the moon night Issue 27, Scarlet Redemption Part 2. Right, Flippin' Flamingos? I should. I should, right? Well, we do. I mean, for PayPal, we can click a little button that allows you to make payments. And, yes. And yeah. so that is kind of financing for you guys. And we're storing the stuff, so free storage and everything else. However, you, you have to have a big enough total to warrant payments. Yes. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. And you hit that has to be discussed beforehand. Well, here's Absolutely. another thing. And again, we should talk about it because even if you check that box, sometimes it just means like maybe they want to pay some from their PayPal account and maybe they right. want to pay some from their checking account. And maybe they want to put some on a credit card. So when you check that box to allow, um, whatever, whatever the word is, allow multiple payments, what, what's the actual verbiage? 
it's it's multiple payments. It's, it's yeah. allowed to make uh, right. So you can separate you, payments. Right. So even though you could pay it all in one shot, you can float. You know, PayPal balance, checking account, and a credit card if you had to. Things like that. So, Superman five oh five. Green Lantern, number nine. Are we still at Vintage Memories at 30? Yes. Nobody else is interested in the slot? If nobody else is interested, we're going to call it to Vintage Memories, guys. The Punisher, 2099, issue one. <laughs> Pam. This is a pretty big. Oh, this is a this is a huge book. This is called Hero. But Pam, I shouldn't be in trouble now. It's all sold. So it's like I didn't even buy it. Right, and if you weren't here, Pam, you wouldn't have even known. <laughs> no, she would have saw it tomorrow whenever I had the packet and shipped it. Installments. Thank you, Richard. Okay, I will, Renee. I will. Hero. <laughs> Daredevil, 324. <laughs> Vintage memory is like, call it, call it, call it. Legion. Let me show the rest of them and then we'll call it. I promise. Superman, Supergirl, rather. Issue three. I've got Amy in like for she, 32. She might have Sonic been Superman Disrupt at some point. Sonic Disruptors, number one, 1987. And Bloodshot. Number two. So I know you. I saw at least Bloodshot Zero and Two. I don't know if one was in there, but right. that's what and you Bloodshot get, guys. was a movie recently, guys, with Vin Diesel in it. Yeah, that is the lot. Hey, Candice, thanks for coming in. All right, money me. I, I think you're supposed to tell Pam that in super chat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Shusha, sure, sure. he always has more stuff to buy. We're good. Oh, yeah. 11, yeah. 12, 13. Got Amy at 36. 14, 15. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. <laughs> 29 with the droids. You got 30 with the Max Ham fairy tale detective. And then the Batman book and record. And that's what you get. And that's what you get. I've got vintage memories at 40. Thank you, vintage memories. Now, once Amy is done bidding, we are, or vintage memories, we will so sell it. Yes, there's only unless, two people. Unless in the anybody chat. wants to jump in, we're gonna sell it. <laughs> Amy's in at 45. Okay, Amy's gonna get it for 45. Thank you, Amy. Thank you, Vintage Memories. Appreciate it. I think that's the new high for, for YouTube auctions, too. Probably. <laughs> that's why you wanted to do it. You just wanted Mr. Bragg's a lot. <laughs> nope. Nope. I just remember somebody told me that the plate wasn't the most expensive thing. All right. <laughs> no, Chandra, I can't. I, like, I love the Chinese photos, but at $5,000, I just don't think there was enough. Meat on the bone. I would have paid three thousand for that box, for that one album, but not five. And he had already had a thirty-five hundred dollar offer, literally in front of me. So. Oh wow. 
knew it wasn't going to happen. <laughs> Do you like that, Anthony, huh? <laughs> All right, Rolling Stone. September 11th, 1975. Hmm, Scotty, that might be a good idea. September 25th, 1975. What did Scotty say? Watch out. He might try to sell his entire eBay store right now. <laughs> That's already up on my eBay store. My eBay store is up for sale on my eBay store. Yes. October 9th, 1975. So it is available if anybody's interested. It is up for sale. <laughs> October 23rd, 1975. I've seen other channels offer everything <laughs> up front to buy it and walk away from the auction. And this is the first time I've seen somebody do it. I don't think so, Wes. <laughs> uh, actually, Kyle, that's probably true. Kyle Elliott, I believe the trade cards probably would have brought the four grand doing them in auction style. Wes wants you to sell him a whole storage unit. Okay. I'm not at the storage unit, though. That's the problem. <laughs> you don't need to be. You can just pick one and tell him that, hey, you're buying a 5 by 7 mystery That's unit. True. That's true. November 6, 1975. November 20th, 1975. December 4th, 1975. You guys seeing a pattern here? <laughs> Although I think that's all that's in the 75s. Next set looks like it's going to be 76. March 25th, 1976. Mary Hartman. Is that Jack Nicholson on the cover of that one that you just showed a second ago? Uh, yes. Yes, that was Jack Nicholson, yes. It's funny. April 8th, 1976. Robert Redford and Dustin Hoffman. Oh, a lot of people liked Peter Frampton. April 22nd, 1976. I've got J.I. in at 30. Oh, May 6th, 1976. I was 10 years old on this day. <laughs> I wasn't even born yet. Oh, shut up. <laughs> What'd you get? <laughs> May 20th, 1976. Yeah, I agree, Nancy. I agree. June 3rd, 1976. You can keep him, too. <laughs> Uh, June 17th, 1976. And July 1st, 1976. So I'll, count them, I'll count them back for you. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven. Pam Hewitt is in at 45. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve. Do we know Candace? It, does that name should be somewhere else instead of my thirteen? Candace Winfield. Yeah. Yes. Um, I don't know. Okay. I just want to make sure I'm not missing it somewhere. T. 
and 15. Candace, did you register with us, hon? We don't have, we can't find a registration if you are. Let us know. So I think that was 15. One, two, yes. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yes, 15 in total, guys. 15 in total. All right, Pam's going to be out. No, Kyle, it's going to be four or five. It's going to be four or five boxes. No worries. So we have 60 with J.I. Oh, no, that's okay. Candace, no worries. No, I, I didn't take your birthday as a bid. I saw that. I saw it. She was just making it convenient so that you could bid in the future. That's all. No cost to bid. 65 with Big Sky Flipper. Thank you. Harry. Harry, Harry. All right, J.I. is going to be out. Will we down to Big Sky and J.I.? I'm not sure. If we were, we're yeah. going to call it right away. I believe it's sold, 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 I think. Right. Let Janine do it because I don't want to get yelled at. But. Okay. Her mom right? Hey, Dean. Right? Dean. Oh, please. I can't even... I can't even tell you. Jesse, what's up? Hey, Clear Thrifts. What's up? What's up, Jess? All right. We're sold to Big Sky Flipper. Congratulations. Are you cleaning that desk? Um, sure. <laughs> yeah, like you do when Donna sells, huh? <laughs> Hi, Jesse. I have oh, you know my know? desk my desk has been cleaned for the last lot and a half. Mama it's G, just not moved cold. off of the table. Are you throwing me under the bus, Mama G? Never. I didn't say that out loud. <laughs> <laughs> the voices in my head were screaming and you guys could hear it. Right? All right. I'm, I'm going to sell this case with the 45s. It's not 100%, but it's cute. It is vintage 70s to me with the denim. It looks oh, like I denim. like it. Yeah, it's cute. It's just got this one corner issue here, if you guys can see it. <laughs> Claire's like, you see nothing, move along. <laughs> How you doing today, Jesse? Good to see you. Thanks for coming in. All right, and it's full, just FYI. But we'll go through it, and I'll tell you what's here. You will get the case with this one. Very unusual here at the auctions that we're going to include a case or a jar or something with it. Uh, the Letterman. Barry Manilow, The Animals, George Harrison, John Sebastian, Dionne Warwick, Rod Stewart, The Playmates, Jody Whitley. Okay, Whitley. The Archies. Thank you, Candace. Mom, if you give me the heads up, I'll give you a wrench. You'll be all set for when you're ready to bid. Taco. The System. Hey, do you it? The Beatles. Bruce Springsteen. Billy Williams Quartet, Dora Hall, Berlin. 
I've got Candace whenever you want to wrench. All right, let's get Candace wrench so she's all set. And if Uzma is in the chat and wants to make a comment, we can also get them wrenched as well. Okay. Smoke gets in your eyes. Red River Rose and a Lover's Question, but it's different bands. Three different bands, six different songs. I see Tom Dooley on there. Time to say goodbye. Did he call today, Mama? Door Hall. Jerry Vale. <laughs> Ricky Nelson. That's a cool jacket. If anything doesn't have a jacket, I'll give it a jacket before it leaves. The Beach Boys. Who's the on screen Boy. if you want to? Oh, oh thank you. Thank you. Yep, we got you registered. Perfect. Thanks, Osman. Welcome. Los Bravos. Black is black. BJ Jesse Thomas. not cutting his hair. He says, nope. The Ohio Players. Quite an eclectic lot. It is, Dean, it, it is. <laughs> Absolutely. Marvin Gaye. It definitely is. No doubt about it. Just throw them all in there. I didn't even look. Um, the, bu the, the Buggles. Video killed the radio star. Video killed the radio <laughs> Herman's Hermits. It's kind of nice sometimes when you have... Like a bridge over troubled waters. Garfunkel, Arthur Garfunkel. Gene Krupa and his Chicago jazz. <laughs> Wes, you can hire Lorraine Bobbitt for less and send her over to Jesse's. She'll cut more than an inch for 5K. The Eagles. Less brown, deep purple. Cool in the gang. <laughs> Barbara Streisand and Barbara Streisand and Barry Gibb, guilty. Parliament. Robert John. Yeah, you'll get one tomorrow of memories. I'm going to send invoices tomorrow. Yeah, I didn't send any from yesterday either. I figured I'd do them all together. Isley, Jasper Isley. Robert Gordon, The Ventures, Come With Me to <laughs> See the Times. I'm looking for a $27 bid, guys. We got a 27 with J.I.? Six, six songs on that one. Tears for Fears. Oh, Hi, Adam. Cool. Just before 45s kind of went away. Hey, Adam. Olivia Newton-John. Kyle, you didn't see it already? Jeez. Patience, Gilbert and Sullivan. Nancy Wilson. We have Adam in at 33. Penny Lane. Paul Morat. Perry Cuomo. Bobby Vinton. Paul James, Anka. for Kyle, I would do that because Kyle's a good customer. I trust him. Frankie Avalon, Pirates of Penzance, and the Mikado. And that's going to wind up. So, yes, you've got a lot of different genres in there for sure. 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. I think. Is there any early 90s? Yeah. Sorry, the only thing I can... Pirates of Penzance as I nearly peed my pants from Pretty Woman. <laughs> I'm sorry they watched that opera. It was Pirates of Penzance. Oh, Pirates of Penzance. Yes. <laughs> yes. I remember the line. Pretty Woman. And Elliot, I wouldn't worry about you either because I know where you live. That's right. We can come knock on your door, Kyle. <laughs> come and knock on my door. I was going to sing that, too. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hi, Evil Lenny. 
<laughs> hey, Blenny. All right, so that's the lot. Full 45s in the box with the case. Ship to your front door. It needs a little grease or oil or something. It's got a little squeakiness going to it. The squeakiness. Oh, so Kyle, that, that night I dropped stuff off at your house. <laughs> that was somebody else's house. Nice. Wow. Awesome. Yeah, they're, they're in there. They're nice and nice and tight. All right, DU, it says out. Who do we have? J.I. and Adam? Anybody else interested in this tight box of records? We've got Adam at 44 and Janine's calling it down. We're going once. Mama G's trying not to laugh. It's really funny. <laughs> you should have Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Are you? Did you clear that table yet? It's been clear since you did the first lot. <laughs> You're a liar. No, I, I've had it cleared. Like I just moved everything over and stacked it nicely. Okay. Yeah. Well, I guess you can't push it too far since it's sold. Yeah. And we're sold, sold, sold. Thank you, Adam, Adam for forty-four. <laughs> but you can do more lots. It's Thank fun you. Watching you do lots. I, I want. I know, but I. I want to like just do something first. So I'm gonna put you on. Okay. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna put me on. Thank you. Come and knock on my door. Oh wait, wait. For everybody in the chat, because Kyle did did buy the first lot at four grand, we have to do it. We have to do this. Come on, do it with me. Hercules, 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 Hercules. Okay. <laughs> God. <laughs> okay, so this is a miscellaneous box of, I don't know why it's like this, but okay, so it's a miscellaneous lot of paper. Um, I guess I must have made it by accident when I was clearing off the table. Um, so you get a lobby card set from Casino with Robert De Niro. There's eight cards. You will see the eight cards. It is a complete set. And these were from that distributor that I had bought out. Oh, so we've got a nice little lot with lobby cards in addition to that box? Yep, everything else that's in that box. So it's just a miscellaneous ephemera lot. Maybe there was just some extra comics laying somewhere, and I threw those on the top of it. And there's a photo, okay. and then there's a bunch of sheet music. Then we have the Blues Brothers from 1990, which I'm Blue Sheet and Dan Aykroyd. I could so see Robbie dressing like this. T's husband. The only thing that you couldn't see dressing like that was Ray Charles. You couldn't see him dressing like any of these guys. No, Ray Charles couldn't see who was dressed Robbie. up. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 the way I meant. <laughs> <laughs> Look, at least nobody's bidding blind this time. True. Okay. And then we get Deathstroke, the Terminator, Deathstroke, Year One, Deathstroke, the Terminator, Deathstroke, the Terminator. $10 start on this lot. You get these comic books. I'm up here to is comic a, books and things for 25 Here is a cabinet photo of William Buffalo Bill Cody with a facsimile signature. This is a reproduction. It is not an original. The way I know that is because on the back, well, you can tell by the cardboard it's printed on, but the back of it is says handcrafted, retouched, restored production from my personal collection by David Baker Jacobs. So that's in there. The two lobby card sets are in there, Casino and Blues Brothers. A few comic books and then sheet music. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12, 13. Do 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 not that they're not all early, like 50s and older, but some of them are late 1890s, early 1900s. 22, and there's the insert. 23, this one's really cool. 24, 25, 26. I've got Adam Maddie at 50. I need $5 increments now. 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. Thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine. 32, 33, 49, military-related, 50. This one's really awesome. I love the old car. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58. Take Powell and Debbie Reynolds, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63. Oops. 64, 65. Got Adam 66. at 100. Woo! 67. Hercules! 68, 69, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, right here, 85, and 86. So 86 pieces of sheet music, along with five or six comic books along with the lobby cards and then the reproduction of the wild bill buffalo bill cody photo we have That's adam at 100 get? i'm looking for 100 strikers at 110 hi judd I'm going to call this miscellaneous tray. Adam at one, 122 and Shriker back at 132. He's moving furniture, or Brian is one. That's not me. I'm just writing on paper. Okay. Adam at 144. Shriker's going to be out. Scotty, you better decide fast because Janine's fixing to sell it. Oh, he's out too. Okay, sell it. So we're going to be sold to Adam for 144 as soon as Janine hits it in the chat. I got to turn around and see how to spell his last name. J A W O R O 
W S K I. I have I have him registered, Brian. Yeah, I do. I do too. But um, whenever I write it on the paper, I like to write it correctly, or my OCD bothers me. Okay, do you get it? Do you need me to respell it? No, no, no. We're good. I got it. Okay. I wrote it twice. Congrats, Adam. Sold, and that's going to be lot number two. Okay. And I am going to let's have a let's have a cool photo lot. T, are you ready, or do you want me to do another lot? Do one more lot, and then I'll be ready. Okay, I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you guys can see better. Okay, so this is a photo lot. This is from the 10,000 photos that I bought from Florida. This lot is awesome. I don't know how many pieces are in it, but I will show it to you guys and you will see why it's awesome. So here's 1860s to 1890s CDV cabinet, our card of the Vist photos. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And J.I. is opening this at $50, so I'm going to need eight, $5 increments now. Nine, 10, 11, 12, very prominent, 13, 14, this one's very thick. Oh, that's because there's two of them. Huh. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, Brian, can you slow down a little bit? Some of the sure. it's not focusing in on the pictures. I'm sorry. Sure. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, hey, Carl. 26. Hi, Carl. Carl, you missed it, Carl. 27, 28. 29. That one's really cute. It's got the girl's name on it. Everything 1879. Thank you, Ruth. 30. Better. Thank you. Look at this one. The little girl standing on a chair. Pam's 30. yelling at you. 31. Why? What do they do? I think she wanted you to slow down. She's like, OMG, Brian. 32. Points. <laughs> 33. 34. And then you get into these. These are pretty rare. The blue tint. These are 1890s, early 1900, 1902. They're dated on the back. Now I just lost count because of Pam. <laughs> 32 or 33, I think. Then this is a cabinet photo. It's really nice. Father and stepmother, Edward Connolly. So it was 43. I remember. I've got Nancy at 75. But, um, but wait till I get to the really good. That one's kind of scary. She just, I don't know, something about her. She's scary. Mr. and Miss Frank Hewitt. So maybe we have this picture. So I believe we're around number 50-ish. We've got Nancy at 100. $10 increments now, guys. 1893. She's so cute. 
<laughs> How cute she is. She looks angry, but she's cute. 1879. She's not cute. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Why are you sorry for laughing? Laughter is what it's all about. I can't help it. You make me laugh too much. That's what you're supposed to do. Oh my gosh, that hair. It's got like horns. This baby says, he make me laugh too. Got got goo goo. I'm getting Nancy at 125. Okay, now let's this one's awesome. Look at this photo. Look at all the top hats and the turbans. This guy smoking a cigar. It's an awesome <laughs> image. It's washed out here, but very cool. I've got Shush at 140. This guy is a little scary. I don't know why, but. It's his big ears. Tanit says she's so glad nobody can hear her because she's laughing too. <laughs> <laughs> like I was just going to make a really bad joke but I decided not to I learned how to reframe certain times because it's very inappropriate and especially when you're on my chopped liver <laughs> say what? chop <laughs> <laughs> that one's an awesome obviously this guy is probably Knights of Columbus or something like that is that pen. Tells his name, Buffalo, New York, AKO, so Knights Order, maybe. And there's more. But wait, there's more. Wait, there's more. Yeah, the best one is the last one I'll show you guys when I get to it. But this is a big lot. There's probably 70 or 80 pieces. Mama G, are you yelling at me again? <laughs> no. We were talking <laughs> over each other, so I muted myself. That's all right. So good. All right. This guy looks familiar. He looks like, you know. Okay, that's all the regular ones, but then here is the the piece of la piece la resistance, the cream of the crop. Look at this. So it's a huge photo on board, but look at this. They are all Masonic members. And what's really odd is the women are even wearing the sashes. So I don't know if in Masonic things i don't know if women can be part of it in freemasonry so i don't know if they're freemasons or what masonic lodge would have used this but it is awesome and the back says july 1889 session vashon island uh, I'm not sure what letter that is. Something in G and Officers, Washington. I, the Order I of the no... Eastern Star says Ozma. So I just thought it was awesome because it is Masonic esque with and such a large image. And then there's like 70 cabinet photos and. Um, in addition to because we only have. Nancy at 200 and J.I.'s out, so we're going to be calling it. James okay, says, called Order of Women Freemasons also. Easton says, no, no women allowed. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so now if there's anybody else going to be in, make sure you hurry up and place your bids. Part of the Oak Island group. <laughs> Oh, Nancy, she's an Eastern star, and it's not Masonic. Ah. 
Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. So I believe we're calling this one down real quick, just because I just finished it. Who else was in? Sold? It's sold. Sweet. Sold, sold, sold. That was a fantastic buy. Congrats, Nancy. Congrats, Nancy. For like 70 photos and that and the other couple really good ones in there. So great buy, Nancy. <laughs> Easton, nobody said that was your role. We get it. <laughs> Brian, do you ever get um, pictures where people are, are mourning? You know, like post-mortem photos and stuff? Yeah, I guess. Sometimes. In the stuff that that I sold to Kyle, there's uh, there's obviously pictures right. of dead people. Um, but then there's some postcards in there that are really good too, uh, that are real photo postcards that are train stations and there might even be one or two post-mortem post real photo postcards in there as well. I don't know. I didn't get to look through all of it yet. Well, I, obviously I'm not gonna because I don't want to be more, more sad. Okay, T, are you ready? I'm up. I'm up. All right. I'm right. I'm right. Yep. 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 All right. Lost my one piece to this spot because it fell behind me. Elvis. Who is in the house? Who likes Elvis? This is an Elvis landmark calendar. It doesn't give me a date. So, I don't know. Actually, is this open? It is torn on the side, but it's never been taken out. It is torn there on the side, but it's never been taken out. Elvis calendar. Bruce, I don't really get death masks very often. Do you get morning jewelry? Oh, the stuff made out of hair? Once in a while. Elvis Presley. Pack of Elvis cards. Another pack of Elvis cards. What do you want to start this lot at, T? Ten bucks. Elvis postcards. It's a I have a feeling Pam is making fun of me, but I, I can't really be sure. Is she? Why? Now, I guess David said something about me being able to count, and then she said, one, you know how to write. But she spelled write incorrectly anyway, so. And then we have Elvis First Day Issue Stamps. And, and now, just so you know, write is W-R-I-T-E. One. Two. Three, <laughs> this one's not even open. I'm not going to even open it. Four. David Thermortem, he probably has wood all the time. Five, six, and I do know it's Elvis because I can see through the envelope. <laughs> I just, you know what? It's sealed. Let's leave it sealed. I've got Ruth at 25. Okay, here's another one. Some of them are different. This one's a different one. <laughs> Most of them are that particular one. Easy list if you're listing them. This one's torn. You might as well open it. Okay, so on the stamps you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten on the stamps. I've got you have Easton and a twenty-seven. There you go. Okay, and then the two packs of Elvis cards. The Elvis. See, cards. are these from nineteen ninety-three? The stamps. I'm assuming. Uh, these particular stamps, this one is from 1997. 
January 8th, 1997. And then I'll check. A lot of them are that particular one, but I think there was one other different one in here because you got two of those, three of those. Got Ruth at 30. I hate to open this one. I think that's the same one for... Adam for three hundred and thirty-three dollars. <laughs> yeah, I think Adam's in at thirty-three. Adam. <laughs> Hercules, Hercules. Adam. <laughs> yeah, have Adam in at thirty-three. Okay. Yeah, so this one's a little bit different, but this one because it has a couple of extra stamps on there. But this one also, it looks like they're all from January eighth, nineteen. 97 every one of them yes you have eastern in at 35 yes and then the postcard i guess that's supposed to be elvis's street or something and the calendar There's a loose Elvis card here, too. I'll throw this in. I don't know. Maybe it was supposed to be in one of these boxes, and it just didn't make it. Not <laughs> sure. Virginia said, T, you and her are wearing the same shirt. Awesome. We're at 35 with Easton. Looking for 37. Adam's in at 37. All right, the Elvis lot. Thirty-nine with Easton. You know what? I'm throwing something else in. I remember I forgot to grab this at the storage unit today. This is also an Elvis piece. This is Bonus. So yeah, this is a um, Rooms with a View, Elvis Presley's Graceland, the Mansion Foyer, based on an original photograph from Graceland Archives. It's made by Reco. It is a wall hanging. And it What's is. What's it made out of? It's, you know, it's got this, these are all raised, all these guitars. Really nice piece. And That's I don't cool. see any issues with it, but let me double check and make sure. There might be a little corner, a little corner ding, but barely can see it. Adam's in at 41. Easton is in at 43. It's like really, it's like, it's not even a ding. It's kind of like almost it's worn off a little bit, but it's really, it's a nice piece and it's raised. Is it a dong? It's not a ding. It might be a dong. It's like a raised piece, though. It's Go ahead, Tammy. You can laugh. Okay. Add a minute 50. Elvis Presley official product. We have Easton in at 55. I forgot I picked that up today. I said, oh, I have that Elvis stuff at home. I'll, I'll throw this. I'll make sure I put this with the Elvis stuff. Sorry, I didn't laugh 60. fast enough, Brian. Oh, it's okay. I was muted. No, I know. I was eating. I, I saw. <laughs> you didn't see me. Hey, Bruce. <laughs> you can't see me. Adam is out. Eastern Peoples at 55. All right. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you guys bidding. And can I do it? Can I do it? Can I do it? Do it. Do it. Do it. Elvis has left the building. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Let's do this music. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Let's. I mean, I, this is this is this. I, I might add more. Actually, I'll add more. We'll see where the bidding goes because the first, there's no CO, COAs here. 
Um, but I don't doubt the validity of the signatures. I really don't. Albert Kaline, Al Kaline, Detroit Tigers, outfielder, 6'1", 185 pounds, Baltimore, Maryland, December 19th, 1934. You say, T, how do you know all that information about this guy? Because it's on the back. <laughs> 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 Brooks Robinson. And Craig, are you starting the bidding at 60 on the slot? No, Craig or was bidding you... on the other lot. Okay. Oh, Craig, you're lagging, sweetheart. Yep. Oh. I forgot Craig likes his Elvis stuff. Craig, you should have shown an interest earlier, honey. He said he said out. Oh, he did. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. We called it, Craig. Brooks Robinson. Carl Ustremski. Yeah, that's the other thing, too. Please make sure you're on live chat, not top chat. Harmon Killebrew. Pitches so can Harry. Harry can kill a brew too. <laughs> Harry killed a couple last night and I'm mad I missed you, Harry. I didn't know you went on. You went on late. And I was laying in bed. I'm like, shoot, I would have had a cocktail with with you. <laughs> See? T was laying in bed thinking about you, Harry. No. T, is, is there, there a, a copy right on these? Yes, there is, Bruce. 1967 on this one. Let's start yeah, it at 25. These are, come on, phone, really? Really? Really, really? I think they're all pretty much the same year, but I'll, I'll double check. 1967, Dexter Press, Inc., all rights reserved. <coughs> Christopher. Christopher, you missed an awesome first lot. Fun day. You're fun good, Zazzy Pants. Jazzy Pants. Well, just let us know who you are. Send me an it's email. It's Shauna. Oh, Shauna okay. Frazier. Okay, so yeah, yeah, 1967. Let me just double check all of them. Yep, sorry, Chatworth. You missed it. 1967. Are those real photo, uh, signatures? Yes. They're actually the signed. Okay. Yes. 1967. I mean, they look real to me. I, I mean, I, 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 I'm saying yes. T, if you tilt them, mm -hmm. you can see. So there, there'll be like a shine on the entire postcard. If the signature is signed after that, there'll either be an indentation or the shine will change a little bit based on what they're signed with. Yeah, well, the ink is blotted, right? Well, you'll be able to tell, like, because of the shine. The ink can be blotted in a in a photo signature as well. Did the ink sink into the back of the photo? Well, they're pretty thick cards, so it's hard to say with that. I think they're real. I think they're I, just me. I've just got bluegrass at 50, looking for 55. I mean, I, 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 Hi, Boatman, Boatman. I don't know. So that's that. You've got some stickers. You've got John Hanna, unsigned. New England Patriot, it's just a big tops card. You've got a postcard of Yankee Stadium. Chicago White Sox postcard of Kaminsky Park. Hi, Jim Episcal. Hey, Jim, Jim. Sally. It's Sally. Hey, Jim. Jim missed the $4,000 lot, too. Yeah. He might have bought that, though, because he has a store that sells a lot of ephemera. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was an awesome lot, Jim. It was everything I bought today. I sold it all at one time.
Oh, those are cool. Yeah, they're um, press guides. All right, and I'm going to throw one more thing in here just because I feel like it, just because it's sitting here. There's a whole stack of Hall of Fame cards. That's good to hear, Jim. Busy days are profitable days. I've got Anthony at 50 looking for 55. All right, let's sell it to Anthony. Let's sell it to Anthony. Anthony, don't forget to, you get to pick a book. You get to pick a book. Um, This this is this is the card I have signed by um, Mickey Mickey Mantle. This this postcard. I actually have two of them. I have to get them authenticated. I don't know if they're worth anything. Unless I get the right price here, you never know. <laughs> I kind of figured right. you might have, Chris. T and I actually said that before I talked to her on the way home. I know. Chris, you missed out, babe. I knew you would want that. But you never know what kind of craziness T and I are going to do. Well, somebody wants one of my storage lockers. We'll have to work on that one. <laughs> that's, okay, how we get to, that's how we get to South Carolina, T. I know. All right, Anthony. Thank you, honey. All right, Brian, I'm going to put you back on. Okay. Anthony, what book do you want? Oh, yeah, let us know about the book, Ant. Ooh, I know what I got. I got, I got something coming up next. It'll be fun. Okay, so comic lot. There should be 50 comics in this lot. The Demon. $10 start. That's shipped. Shipping's included. Three, four, five, seven, Each eight, row? Okay, you got it. Nine, ten. So the issue numbers is what I'm counting. So these are all Blood of the Demon. And then you get into some of the older stuff. Captain Adam, number six. Number 15. Number nine. And these are all in great condition. Ten. Number 11. 12. He reminds me of Mr. Manhattan from Watchmen. Captain Adam with the appearance of Swap Thing, number 17. Number 18. Number 19. Number 20. Then it jumps to 52 on that side. But the Captain Adams are older. First issue, so issue number one, Captain Adam. Issue number three, issue number four, issue number five, and then you jump into, back into the new 52 for Deathstroke 2. There's three issues, three copies of that one. Issue number three, Batman and Robin Eternal, Batman and Robin Eternal. And then we go back to some more of the vintage Captain Adam, number 29. It's a nice run of these. Number 30. It may be a full run, actually. Number 35. 38. 36. And then you get into the newer remakes of Captain Adam. Issue 1. Of nine, and then this is also one of nine. Issue two, issue six, six, two issues of seven, and then the annual, the vintage annual of Captain Adam number two. So, roughly a little over 50 books, some newer and some more vintage. All the Captain Adams are more vintage. I've got Jim Epicel at 35. 
Jackman Apicel is asking, what was the $4,000 lot? Uh, Jim, you have to watch the beginning. It was everything I bought today at the flea market. So it was World War II, dead soldier photos, a bunch of postcards, gay interest magazines, about 1,400, 1,800s trade cards, um, some toys, some unopened wax boxes of non-sports cards, photo albums, the 300 press photos from uh, movies. Everything I bought this morning. So nice lot of 50 plus comic books. It's either 50 or 51. We have Vintage Treasures in at 55. Thank you, Paul. We have Chatworth in at 50. We have Chatworth in at 75. T, can you and answer think, my text? I think that Captain Adam run is probably pretty complete. Like Definitely the first one, two, three, four, five are there. Casual's out. Jim FSL is out. Shush says, I got a phone call this morning about somebody bringing 85% of that. So I bought 85% of that from one person. And then he invited me to his house at a later date because he's got 5,000 to 6,000 vintage magazines and sports-related magazines from the 50s, 60s, early 70s. So we're at 75 with Chris Chatworth. Hi, Frank. Hi, Frank. We have 138 people here. Let us say thank you guys very much for being here. We definitely appreciate it here at Auctions for You with T. And we know you guys could be doing other things on your Sunday evening, but being here is definitely more fun because we like to check around. Absolutely. And thank you guys for coming you. in. So appreciate it. Okay, going once. I believe we're going to be. We're at seventy-five with Chatworth. Twice. Hey, Frank. Frank, let me know if you want to come Tuesday or Wednesday this week. Whatever works, honey. Honestly, just not tomorrow. Whatever day works this week. Okay, I think we're going to be sold to Chris Chatworth. Sold to Chris. I didn't see it yet, but I believe we're going to be sold. Tuesday, Frank? Okay, you got it. You ready to go again? Yep. All right. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> I don't know. Little Birdie told me Pam was calling in sick tomorrow, just saying. Yeah. I heard that whistling around the neighborhood, too. <laughs> okay. Awesome scrapbook. Um, I bought this Saturday morning at Kutztown Flea Market. So this is very cool. But Victorian die cuts. And this is one of our win or lose game that I play. So I paid good money for this, but wanted to see... If you guys like this stuff. So like the Shackman stuff you guys see me sell, this is the original. This is the vintage 1870s, 1880s. These are embossed. 
And you can see Sorry. some of them advertise crystal yeah. water. Ten dollar start. You get the old ribbon. It's eighteen eighties. But I will show you guys what's really awesome in this one. See the Santa Claus postcard up there? That's awesome. This postcard is Christmas. So there's some really good Christmas postcards in here. And you guys can see it pretty well, right? Other than the glare. This is a sewing machine advertising large card. These are all little die cut figures. But oh, look at the doggies. It look, it's got glass eyes in that one. Oh, wow. This one's a Victorian trade card of Sopine. So these are very similar to what was in those two boxes that I bought today. Look, I guess nobody loves me. See the little puppy? And then the gorilla, it's all embossed. Nancy, this album's, yeah, this album's awesome. And I'll show you guys. It gets better as it goes further into it. Like here. Wow. Look at how beautiful the colors. these are all embossed. The colors are so vibrant. And I wish that I would take the time and soak stuff to get it off out of books, but I never do because I think it's neater kind of like this. And then you have Easter greetings. And anybody in here who knows postcards knows what the best postcards are that sell the best and sell for the most money. And we're going to show you some of those. There's a fireman to the rescue. Look at the automobile die cut. Jim jumps to 105. Joyful Easter. These are very large. Like you can see, this is as big as my hand. Here is a from Nancy. die cut applied card. And it gets better. It gets so much better. So you get birthday greetings and birthday greeting cards. Most are embossed. Here's Valentine cards, which are really hot sometimes. Like especially, well, right now they're doing pretty good. But if it was right before Valentine's, these do really well. Now, when you and say this soak is them, Brian, do you really put them in something to soak them? Yeah, they soak, and then the glue, because the, the base glue that they used to use is water-soluble. Here's the best page. And, and then I stopped looking at this album when I bought it. But it doesn't ruin the actual card itself? And, and I don't know how old these four cards are just because they they look good and they're in this old album but i don't know if somebody later applied these just because they're not marked like winch or any of the guys that i'm used to but the album was so good that i didn't care um because there's stuff like this as a die cut this lincoln here in christmas they began saving in August. So you get the angels. These are all die cut. My mother would die for this album. She loves this type of stuff. This is a really large pull out three dimensional with cherubs and stuff like that in it. 170 now from J.I. Okay. Now there's a lot of talk in the chat about how big your hands are because you keep using that as a reference. So do you have like well, they make other parts of me look small, so I, I'd say they're big hands. Okay. Nah, just kidding. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the, so I have I have probably average size hands, but if you figure you put your hand together, it's generally about six inches from wrist to the tip of your finger, sometimes seven inches, depending on how big your hands are. Carl's and like drink. Brian calls like just drink. <laughs> yeah, just drink. Just drink. And then here's a cabinet photo in there. Look at these. These are almost like wood engraving illustrations, but from the Cheval Club we'll meet at. So these were from a club meeting, which I thought was kind of neat. Right there, Friday. So I'm not sure what the Shrevel Club is. Does that say New York City? 
um, yours in yours in Hask Friday evening. Edward Hurling, uh, I don't know, six thirty nine, oh. Ace S and C, oh, Wednesday. Okay. I bought. I don't know. I didn't get this far in the album. I'm seeing it for the first time now. This stuff. Do you have a measuring tape around the office or anything? I do. I'm just really con concerned about how big your hands are now. <laughs> <laughs> there, so from, from the tip of my middle finger to my wrist is a little over seven and a half inches. It's, it's like seven, seven and a quarter inches. Put your hand up. I need to see. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now I have a proper reference from now on. Thank okay. you very much. Oh, I'm glad God. I can entertain you. Jim's so like, don't smoke cuts. those. I don't know what he was talking about either, Jim. All right, Craig. Yes, make and sure. And then look at the Thanksgiving that. ones. I thought you guys would really love this album because, uh, <laughs> man, I saw like the first little bit of it and I was like, oh, this is amazing. So is Mama G, Kyle. <laughs> you know, everybody else in this chat right now is measuring their hands. Of course they are. But look, look at this little booklet. So heartiest good wishes, and then inside. What do you? And these are all eighteen nineties. Two twenty five now from Nancy. Look at this one. That's beautiful. Very intricate. So it's got like a photo behind, and then die cut over top, and it opens up to my Valentine. You have these are applied on top of the card. Oh, did that all just die move? cut? Did that just move? Yeah, it's see. Oh, okay. It's so you can lift it, and it should say something underneath. See, the person's oh, name. Nice. And I think we're getting towards the end. This one's really cool with the Santa Claus sled. And it says, the end. <laughs> so. 3200! <laughs> but yeah, it's an awesome album. Hey, casual. Okay, so where are we at? Who are we with? We have Nancy at two hundred. Yeah, I guess she's. I guess she this retracted one. her thirty two hundred. Sorry, Brian. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the doggy, and he's got glass um, eyes. So cute. Well, I've got Kathy Bauer at two twenty five. Hey, Kathy. Hi, Kathy. Kathy missed that first lot too. Oh wow, Kathy. Yeah, you missed it, honey. <laughs> Oh, look at Adam at $1,133. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> 4,000 lots. Now we're doing $2,100 books. It's an auction. That's it. We're only having Sunday night auctions from ever now on. <laughs> <laughs> and these, if you look on the little birds, see the white part there? It says titmouse. Nightingale, what? Titmouse, it's a type of bird. Okay. Of course, you got to say that type first, Mama G. <laughs> that, that is actually the first one I read. <laughs> so, and these are by Rook. But the Easter cards are awesome. While you guys are bidding, I'm just kind of flipping back through in Kathy case Bauer Kathy didn't see everything. 75. And this one is also applied like the little girl is part. She's lifted in the card. This one is all embroidered. Adam's at 300. Nancy is out. I'm going to mute myself if you guys don't quit laughing no at me. No, 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 I, am, I am whiskey. Who the devil are you? <laughs> that one's funny. 325 from Cap. And then, like I said, I don't know how old these four Halloween cards are because they, they're in a period book, but they're not marked Winch or any of the other guys that I know. So I think these four cards are newer. 
So I'm just telling you guys that that's just my opinion, but I'm not going to rip them out of the book to figure it out. Yes, Froggy, great book. There's Abraham Lincoln with his oh, forget me not ribbon. Thank you, casual flipper. <laughs> that one flips up. These are awesome, these little Christmas angels. This one flips up. Do we have any concert posters tonight? No, we do those on Facebook. I let Kim do those. Okay. So that, yeah, so that she makes money for herself. She gets a a hefty percentage of what she sells at the auction as her pay. And like I said, I don't know what that club is. The Shrevel Club. Meet at 639A Street South. This could be Staten Island. It could be South Carolina. Who knows? I will, be, I will be out to bring you over Friday evening. Yours in Hask, Haste. Edith Hurling. Haste. Haste. Yeah. Edith, Edith Hurling. And then I didn't read this one. I will be all right for Friday evening. Not get off early enough to come to your house. May take you be something be at ours our home all right kathy's in for four benjamins and we're gonna call it adam is out nancy do is you out. have any pokemon cards or anything like that um i might be able to put together a pokemon lot okay okay so we sold almost i'm gonna call this scrapbook we're sold. Congratulations, oh, Kathy. Four hundred. Yeah, that's an awesome, awesome lot. Sorry, so Kate. that was that was a winner. So I paid one hundred and twenty-five dollars for that yesterday. Nice. That's all right. That's what we do here. We bring bargains to you guys. I just look. I buy the stuff and I bring it to you guys. I started it out at ten dollars, and whatever it would have brought, it brought. But I think it was still a buy at that because there is a lot in there and a lot of really good stuff. And I like to gamble, so. Because it's fun and you guys are awesome. Okay, what is that? My fifth lot? So let's do a sixth lot. And then I will put together some Pokemon cards. All right. Okay. So here's the sixth lot. And then I'll put together Pokemon like you guys are doing the other stuff. Okay, this lot is pretty awesome. And it is um, a pretty remarkable lot. There are a few things in it that I will point out. Um, here, let me do it this way. Should I take everything out of the box and then put it back in? Yeah, let's do it like that. What's your start on this? $10. because it'll cost me $10 to ship at least. Okay. So first photo is this guy in a car. Then you have the old lady. You have the young guy. Uh, this one's got his name on the back. George Chillingcott, or Chilling something. Chillingcoat. I am not sure why this is in there, but it's here. Poor game. We're going to start out with Nancy at $50 at $5 hair commits now. Vivian Robertson. Pope Leo the Eighth. This is really cool. Cabinet photo. Um, I'm not sure what this newspaper thing is. I just grabbed stuff out of the box and threw it in a tray. Dallas, Texas, June 1946, graduation exercises held for the 46th class at Parkland Press, The Student Nurses, published by the Student Nurses at Parkland Hospital. So it is a nice, like, newspaper type thing from 1946. 
There's some weird Ancestry.com papers. Here is this lady, and there's paperwork there if you're doing genealogy, because I have a feeling that's what this guy did that I bought this collection from. And then this is awesome. Wow. What's I am not sure why they put X's <laughs> over top of some people. <laughs> I know everybody's just getting ready to ask that, weren't they? Yeah. Like, does that mean they're gone or <laughs> they're divorced? Uh, sometimes, sometimes they did actually used to do that. This one says Prosser Reunion Picnic 1912. So maybe those people had passed away by that time or something had happened to them. Or they got divorced. <laughs> or they got divorced. <laughs> Moonlight view of Emmy Church at midnight. Photo by Judd Crawley. The name is familiar. So an old photo. Church. I don't know why I like this photo, but I like this photo for some weird reason. I think we actually saw another picture of her in one of the other lots. A smaller one? Alice yeah. Copeland Wilson, mother of Priscilla Papp. Page page, something like okay. that. And then these are all CDV, part of the Vist, 1860s, 1870s, 1880s photos. So these, Three, these, these are metal, Brian? Four. No, there's no metal ones yet. Okay. CDV means card of the Vist. They're like smaller versions of the cabinet photos. Five, six, seven, Eight. Come here, baby. Get in my belly. Nine. Hey, Sharice. Ten. Kyle. She is not happy. Eleven. You don't rub them out, Kyle writes. <laughs> Twelve. Did I just hear somebody say, rub? never mind. Twelve. I said Kyle said they 13. were rubbed out. <laughs> oh, never mind. What did you think 14. I said? Fourteen. He looks like he has a wig on. Something about rubbing one out. I don't know. <laughs> Fourteen. <laughs> Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Lost count. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. 20. They tinted this little girl's shoes and a ribbon on her dress. Huh. Nancy said, Make, made Brian mess 22. up his count, y'all. <laughs> 23. 24. That's bed head right there. Really? I'm surprised they took a picture uh, like that. <laughs> 26. You want to see what's adorable on this one? Here Attitude. Oh. See? That's an attitude face right there. <laughs> 27. 28-ish. There might be more. This one's large. Right here. That had Another a really nice one. And I think on the back it says Grandpa and his wives. I don't know. <laughs> Mm. Either that or his daughters and one son. Maybe. <laughs> this one is coming apart. This photo on board. Oh, boy. More cabinet photos. This lot's another like 60 or 70 plus pieces so far. But this is awesome. This is This photo right here is so cute. Look at this. Aww. So his goat is pulling him on the cart, and then they have a sled, a hand-painted sled that has a name on it that the goat could also pull whenever the weather's bad. Wow. And the little boy, look, the little boy's got like a whip. It is so cute. And you can see this guy paid $10 for this at some point in time, and it's a real photo postcard, but awesome.
I almost and, bayed in the chat. Sorry. And let's see if this says anything in the back. It says maybe 1908 to 1910, Mothersville, I don't know, Mothers Miller. Oh, Miller, Harry Miller. Harry Miller. So that's a great image, but here's another fantastic image. So the little boy is my favorite, but whenever you look at photography, you look at subject matter, this one is an old store an old cigar and tobacco store. The guy sitting outside, a Parthmore. Everybody's kind of sitting out on the street and she's holding, I can't tell if it's a cat or a dog. It looks like a dog. And then next to it is gas fitters, a L Miller gas fitters. So that one's really cool. Oh, and that's funny. The other guy's name was Miller. Yep. And then this photo is fantastic for like resellers because occupational photos are great. These are two painters wearing their bibs and overalls, holding their paint cans on the front of the porch that they just painted. So that's a great photo. This photo is amazing. Like resell, actually I'll save that one to last. Tease. Cabinet photo, another cabinet photo with damage. There's damage here. Uh, interesting cabinet photo. Come here, Sonny. Hello, Chris. <laughs> Chris, come up to my room, Chris. I have J.I. at 80 looking for any bits. We're only at 80? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's why I risked turning on the microphone to Say something. You guys realize you get all of these. It's a lot, not not individual. Okay. This photo is valuable in the fact of subject matter. So you see the little girl holding the dolly. But look all over the ground. Little carts with dollies, more little carts with dollies. The boy is sitting on a tricycle in the back, a big wheel tricycle. The man is actually reading a paper. He has so something on is, his sleeve. Does he have a badge or something on his? Is he wearing like some kind of uniform or some kind of I think shirt? It's, I think it's just his sleeve is bunched up. Is That's what you're looking at. Are you talking about up here? Shoulder, yeah. I That I don't know. But I can definitely see he's got a newspaper and the little girl's holding a dolly. There's a, a porcelain head dolly inside of the little cart. Another cart with a dolly. But the little boy on this big wheel wooden rim tricycle is fantastic. Like That's a, an amazing photo. So these five photos right there are, these four photos are fantastic. And then there's another 70 or 80 cabinet photos and CDVs. I've got Nancy at 125. And Shushyas is at 40. 140. Oh, no Kathy Bauer yet. She has said she had company. Oh. She had to get back to her company. Okay. 160 with Nancy. Yeah, this is a great lot. So there's probably 80-ish pieces in this lot. So definitely above 70 and probably below 90. But there's four photos in here that are all amazing. Yes, Pam. So we have 160 with Nancy. Hi, Lana. And if anybody needs to see any of those images up close, again, just let me know. So we're at 160 with Nancy, looking for 170 or better.
170 with shushes. Like I said, these are my four favorites. The one with all the toys and the little big wheel bicycle. The cigar store, which is very, very popular right now, cigar tobacco stores. And inside you can see all the displays and all the cigar boxes. So a lot of people will magnify those and show them. Okay, Nancy at 200. The occupational photo of the painters. The awesome little boy and the goat cart. Real photo postcard. I wish I could read what his... His what name is, right? Well, something with an E. Is it looks like EJ, EJ Kiss. And then... But the actual sled is like all hand painted. It's awesome. That's This is really awesome to me. Just because I like vintage toys, yeah, and to see to see stuff from the eighteen eighties, eighteen nineties, with toys and stuff like that in it is is amazing. And we're sold to Nancy for two hundred. Okay, great deal, Nance. Again, yep, Nancy, that was awesome. Okay, T, it's your turn. It's my turn. It's my turn. Okay. Get it. Hold on. Sorry. I was busy multitasking. <laughs> Sorry. All right. I am going to do some sports, which is going to start out with this Tops 42 plus one special steals in the pack. 19. 89 or no yes what, is it smarty i just saw the red backs okay oh yeah yeah, yeah. That's, so that's the giveaway 89 okay so you get that we got a box of this is football this is i know that's troy aikman um I'm going to tell you it is. Brian, the chat saying, go get the Pokemon. Yeah, go get the Pokemon, Brian. I'm getting them, I'm getting them, I'm getting them. Okay. Somebody help me with the game. I almost bought more today, but now I'm glad I didn't because I would have wound up putting them in that whole lot. Um, Brian, do you see yeah. Nancy's? Okay. Do I see Nancy's? Oh, just leave the box oh, unchecked. Yeah, no, no problem. I check. I can check it. Yep. Yeah, anybody who needs me to do that, let me know as well. Yep, Nancy, um, no problem. Let me just bring my camera up because I don't know what years these are unless somebody knows. Sorry. I'll just grab the box. These are 1998 um, on these. Couldn't find the year. Now I found it. Oh, it's okay. focusing on your face and not um, the... How dare it. Okay, go up a little bit. I can see it now. Miss Martha. Hi, honey. Good to see you. Mm, nope, that's it's all right. 1998. That's all I can tell you guys. I'm sorry. So, yeah, this is what's in the box. There is also a piece of paper in here. I have no idea what it looks like. It's a handwritten piece of paper. 1998 Pacific MAGA football. And then it just has a list here. So I'll leave it in there. Hi, Rachel. Hey, Rachel. Nice. Good for you, Denise. Awesome. All right. Um, let's do these. Those were football. Let's do a little bit of baseball. And I actually have, this is a pack of Notre Dame football. 
I'm not going to send the case with this. I'm just telling you right now. Um, oh, maybe I will. Well, maybe I will. Yeah, because they fit nice. I guess the top, though, you probably could put something else in there also. But this is Notre Dame football. It is from 1990. But it's it's new old stock. <laughs> it's old players, it looks like. You've got vintage memories at 20. It looks like old players. So, oh, I'll tell you why that it's that big box. It looks like it starts from number 145. That's what it does. It starts from 145 and goes up the scale. Let me see if they're. Oh, maybe not. They're all over the place. No, he has 101. Is it a blue box? Yes. Blue with white on top of it. They're called vending boxes. So generally they have 100 different cards in there and multiple copies of each card. Oh, no. The box it was in was this clear box. I thought you meant the card. Oh, okay. No, nope, no. The cards no. themselves. Oh, yeah. I didn't see them. I was busy. Yeah, I see Joe, Mon Joe Montana in here. There's a checklist in here. Of who's in here so it looks it's the collegiate collection of 1990 i'm just going to leave it alone you guys can figure it out uh, otherwise we'll be here all night looking at cords because <laughs> he'll be like oh all right so that and that the pack of football in here and these cards as well he's a baseball so you have a little mix. Casual at 22, and Rachel says, T, how are you feeling? I'm okay, Rachel. Thank you, honey. Thank you for asking. And there's the Tim Raines in the middle of it. We'll throw it in there. Greg Maddox. Dave Parker. Jason Smith. Oh, there's some football in here, too. Archie Griffin of the Bengals. Bengals. I don't know. I just grabbed these. Scott Strickland. Rich Ashbourne. Roberto Alomar. Flipping cards, man. Okay. Come on. On. Raphael Palmero, Aaron Boone, before he was a manager, Carl Schilling, Kurt Schilling, rather, Andy Pettit, Goose Gossage. What's up, Goose? No, Goose Gossage. I'm talking about I know. I know. It's just fun. <laughs> Ooh, I crochet better tea. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Bud Smith. Oh, here we are backwards again, upside down. And we've got vintage memories at 40. Craig wanted to know if you were going to have CD or DVDs or anything today. I am out of DVDs. Do you know I did that special over the weekend, and I'm, I have I have plenty of CDs, no more DVDs. I am dry. Not a one left. Jeff Kent. Tommy Lasorda. Tommy Lasorda, did he pass away this year? Uh, last year, I think. Um, I don't know. Mama G, you sent me that list, and I don't remember who's on it now. Me either. I've got Shut casual. Up. Hey, Paul. Mike Lowell. Terry Foster. Brian Schneider. Troy Klaus. Vintage Treasures at 50. Nick Johnson. God, these are so hard in the gold to read who they are.
Wilson Alvarez. Wow, it's so hard with the gold to read with the, who they are. This must be a reprint. Ted Williams, 1957. Hopefully it's a reprint. <laughs> no, that's not original. It looks to be original. Really? Mm-hmm. I think so, yeah. Let me see the front of it again, T, without the glare now. Yeah, that's a, it's a 57 Fleer Ted Williams baseball greats. Okay. I think I had cards that went back that far. I mean, the card is probably, so the front says 1957. I don't know what year the card itself is on the back. You'd have to look, but. Got vintage memories at 55. This might be signed. Yeah, this one is signed. Every once in a while I find one. So here's yours, Kaz. Kaz Mackie. This, this is um, Kaz, Kaz Hisha. I don't know how to spell it. Say his name. <laughs> That's why he signs it, Kaz. <laughs> um, Ozzy Smith. Yeah, the Ted Williams cards from 1959. Okay. Eric Harris. Julio Franco. Carlos Delgado. And my pile is falling down. Bear with me for one second while I straighten it out. Just, there's two more left anyway. Um Taiyu Show Shinjo. It's Shinjo. That's all I know. It's Shinjo. And mm -hmm. oh, it's like a fairly older one as well. It's a Tops 1963. Lou Clinton. And I have this other one just sitting on my desk here. I have no idea. So let's throw him in too. Miguel De Leon. All right, so let's get all these together. All right, so you've got that stack I just went through, the sealed 89, the Notre Dame, the box of football, and I am going to throw in, I have a couple of these packs of, they're just... Um, Tops baseball stickers, five stickers in each pack. I'm, they're just laying here on my desk. I'm going to throw them in. And for some reason, I'm sitting on a Jerome Bettis on, my de Bettis on my desk. I don't know why. And actually here I have this picture. It's not in great, it's not in great condition, but I'll throw it in. It's a postcard. It is John Ellis may or may not be a real signature. I don't know, but I'll throw it in. And actually, here's another one. Uh, cards Carl just, Bach is asking year on the sticker wax packs. Year on the sticker wax packs. Tops. 1988, Carl. 1988. Yeah, vintage treasures in at 80. Oh, and guys, please don't chew the gum. Please. Please don't chew the gum. <laughs> I'm always asking that you don't chew the gum. All right, no more. And babies. as always, this does come with a book of yes. your choice. Yes. So everyone with my sports slots gets a free book while supplies last. And that gives you a choice of the Sub Subway series or Ichiro. I am out of the third book that I was Hi, looking KK. For. Hey, Kath. Hey, honey. Sorry. I got excited. Okay. So I can't. Hey, Kath. So, yeah, you get a choice of either book, Ichiro or the Subway Series. I'm out of the other book, The Unforgettable. And um, yeah, okay. No, it does not taste good. Shush. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Vintage Memories is out. We have Vintage Treasures at 80. We're going to call it to Paul. And, Paul, just let me know what book you want, honey. And if you guys aren't bidding, make sure that you use your little keyboards and your mouse and hit that thumbs up for T. It auctions for you. It really does help her 
Thank you, out Billy. in the algorithms. And also after the auction, if you had a good time, just go in and say, had a great time. Leave her a comment on the video. It'll help out a lot for her channel, help it grow. So we do love when you guys participate and are part of the channel with us. Hey, Chris the Goose. See, look, I called it. I called Chris the Goose earlier. See? <laughs> Yes, and remember to be on live chat, not top chat. Did we sell it? Did we sell it? Did we sell it? Sold. Yes, we did. For 80. Congratulations, Paul. Paul, just let me know on the book, honey. Hello, Donna. Donna Tella Bottolino. Miss Bottolino. Hey, Lisa. Hi, honey. Ichiro. Lisa. Okay. All right, hope tell my girl to be safe. You guys be safe in that car. Be safe, be safe. Hey Steve, Judgment Care, what's up? All right. Let me just put these down. No, not gonna work like that. That was silly T. Bear with me a second. Didn't didn't do that right. This. Oh, Chris, did you give me your number? I saw the email, but I didn't. We've been in snow and everything, so it's been hectic up here. But I'll give you a call. I didn't know. I I remember he sent me a message, but you know I get a thousand emails a week, so it's. And then with the snow and missing days and hundreds of packages that had to go out this week. All right, we're gonna stick on the sports theme. Uh, first thing is we have some Drake's cakes from, mm. yeah, I know, that's funny. Yeah, but the cake's not included. It's just, uh, oh. damn it. It's David Field, Rice, Sandberg, Steve Balboni, and Tom Herr. I'm just trying to see if we have a date on this. I don't, I don't see a date. So we're going to call this a sports lot too? I know. Yeah. Okay. And we're going to start it at 20. Yeah. If you want to, you want to just note Drake's on there. I'll know that there's Drake's. There's, there's just one I'm throwing in here. I have a bunch more. I have them and oh my God, the weedy boxes that I have. Look out. Okay. I want some sports weedy boxes soon. This looks like 1986. 1986 on these. Yeah. So they're just uncut cards off of either a yodels or some kind of drake's cakes then we have a pa uh, sealed in the package basketball draft picks christian Ooh, shaquille o'neal on the front leitner only in this set only in this set i, I have another photo shaquille o'neal on the front of it the legend okay but this is the real deal in this lot, okay? This is signed. It's Peter Bullar, if I'm saying his name right. I'm not a Ravens fan, so I don't know. It's a Leaf from 97. It is signed. He's the defensive end. Here's the information. It is authenticated. That's him. He told me that Eli had a tight end. This one is Rob Moore. <laughs> <laughs> this I do not, unless I, I didn't take it out of the frame. I guess I could open the frame and see if there's any kind of COA on this. Just so you guys know. Nope, I don't see one. Oh, KK, you're so sweet. Oh, wait yeah, a the, minute. The wifey has a red velvet cake at home for me. <laughs> red velvet, huh? Yeah, she made a red velvet. I, I told her, like, next one's going to be German chocolate. All right. So, I mean, I again, I don't doubt that that's not – I mean, it's frames. You'll get it all. The frames, okay. It's not the greatest. But – have J.I. in at 30. I'll include it. Uh, we'll include it. You're going to get three autographs in this lot. 
three different sports. Uh, no, actually, no. This, these two are football. I thought there was a baseball one in here, but there isn't. Because now that I say that, I can't get the cover back in the back. And T, is it is it glass on the front of that frame? Yes. So whoever wins this, this is just my suggestion. Maybe if you don't want the frame, just tell T you don't want the frame. Yep. Just in case the post office is rough with it, sometimes the glass could break and scratch the photos. So I yeah. generally well, I try to take stuff out of frames. I, I, believe me, we can ship. I'm, I'm not going to fool sure. with this. Robbie, Robbie will put, or we can, we can, we can take it out of the glass to sh for shipping purposes. It's fine too. It's all right. I, I'm 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 okay with that. It's it's all good. And this is Bruno San Martino, and I do have a COA on this one. Ooh, he's a great wrestler. And then whoever wins this lot, I just saw this and I said I'm gonna throw this into one of the lots. So I'm gonna throw this one in. It's just a cute little thing. Norm from Cheers. Hey, Leon. I just figured I'd throw that, I'd throw that one in. Just, just for, you know, shits and giggles. Can I say that? Um, there's actually two more. I just saw this. There's two more Drake's. Didn't realize there was more. Um, this one is from Drake's 19. This is 86 as well. Scott Scott McFarland in at 35. Hey, Scott. Thanks for coming Welcome, in. Scott. And I have the guy who, again, I got a lot of this, or this stuff was acquired from, um, Bill Steimers. He was a some some sort of back, back guy with the media. This is a official commemorative Reggie Jackson pen with the key. With Pam Hewitt in at 40. For the back guy photos. I'm going to throw in this Sports Illustrated. It's not in the greatest condition, but it is a Sports Illustrated, Mike Bossy, and it's dated May 14th, 1984. And then this one is still sealed in its original package. This is a collector's issue, a tribute to Mickey Mantle, and it is from December 21st, 1995. And I, as I say that, I see the bottom is open so it's not actually sealed thought it was it's, but it's not vintage and memories is asking is the back of the pen signed t question mark the pen yep it's the back, back of the pen the back of the pen signed t hi leon we're at 55 with pam hewitt The pen is signed. Let's see if we can do this. The package of the pen is what Vintage Memory said. Oh, the package of the pen. Well, it, there's no package. It's just this, um, like it's a... It's not really in a package, so to speak. It's just this hard cardboard. So I'm not really sure. It doesn't look like there's anything on the back of the the book itself. Yeah, this is what this is what was in here. I don't know. There was no package with it. Just this was what it was. It was this pen inside here. That's it. Yeah. This there wasn't in any kind of sleeve or anything like that. So there's no paperwork with it. It's just the no. pen is printed on. No, it's just right. it's this basically this. That's it. Plus yeah, all the other it. awesome stuff in the slot. Oh yeah, right. All right. Again, the the sealed cards, the couple of the Drake's cakes cards. The two magazines. Again, just something fun to throw in there. I don't know. And the Bruno San Martino. Whoops, helps if he's the right direction. 
Sorry. With that one has a COA. The babe. Peter Boa. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but. And Rob Moore. And T, just as a heads up, I would show that pack of cards again with the Christian Leitner. Okay. And so that I can see that Shaq, because I think that's his rookie year. Like, I think it's 92. Okay. Um, 1992 draft picks, yes. Yeah. I don't know if it guarantees that Shaq's in here, though. No, isn't he on the front? Oh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> that's what I was trying to tell you. That's his rookie card. Like, that's a good card. Okay. Scott, if you can just let me know if you're in or out, please. So if I was allowed to bid on this, I'd be bidding. So just so everybody knows. Just so everyone knows, Brian would be in. Hi, bid is Pam. Oh, and 55. I have two other cards here. Um, I'll throw those in too. Ozzy Smith and Eric Karos. I'll throw those in. Larry M is in it. I feel like it. Just because I feel like it. <laughs> hey, Larry. Larry, you're supposed to be taking it easy. <laughs> Hi, Frenchie. Enjoying yourself, Frenchie. Hi, honey. Thanks for coming in. Frenchie, I'm going to need you to go 65, honey. Hi, Larry. Oh, God. I've got Frenchie at 65. Thank you, Frenchie. Thanks for coming in. 70 from Larry. 142 of you here. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> All right, Pam is out. So casual flipper in at seven. Oh, wait, you have Larry M in at 70. And casual came in just a second after him. Frenchie's going to be out. Easton is in at 75. Frenchie. And remember, if you're in the United States, shipping is included. If you're foreign, you do have to pay the additional shipping from U.S. to foreign. Just oh, because I happen to know that Eastern Peoples is foreign. Okay, that's fine. This Canada, Eastern is from? International. This this is this is not too bad to Canada. Casual's going to fold. Show the shack again, please. Absolutely. And I think he's UK, just so you know. Oh, okay. Casual is out. Zygon Tiger. Yep. It's still in the package, Zygon. Like, never opened, and that's a harder plastic. Oh. County Galway here. <laughs> Night, Leon. Ireland, Eastern Texas, Ireland, Northern Ireland. J.I. Right, so is out. Out, and I think we had one other person we were waiting. No, I, I think Zygon Tiger says fold, um, or no, Casual said fold. We're waiting to hear back from Zygon Tiger. Zygon didn't bid. She just asked about okay. the check again. Okay. All right, we're good then. 
All right. We're going to sell it to Easton people. Saigon's in at 80. Yep. Oh, okay. <laughs> Mark was trying to make sure it wasn't the autograph. Oh, okay. Betcha. I happen to know that one card. Woo! I'm so smart. Oh, really? Yeah, it was randomly inserted. They did some like autograph ones, and those autograph ones are oh. um, special. Hey, Brad. Well, you know, Brian, if I need to bid on something like that, just send me a text, okay? <laughs> no, I'm not allowed. How come you can bid and I'm not allowed to bid? I have Eastern oh, people's in at 85. Bid. No one really said that you weren't allowed to bid. I've just always had that rule from the beginning because I never want anybody to think that anybody here was shell bidding. That's the oh, reason. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, I see. 90 I with just like to keep it on the up and up. The only reason. I was going to say, nobody's ever told me I can't bid. <laughs> well, the only problem with you bid, Mama G, is then everybody else goes out. <laughs> That's why I quit bidding. <laughs> I always let Mama G bid at the very end. Right. Deb That's is in at 95. Gets in the mix now. Thank you, guys. Hmm. Cards just appear on my desk. They just go into lots. They just They just magically appear. Zygon in for a hundred. Woohoo! What's the word? Benji. Hercules. 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 Oh, good God. No. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I got T doing it now. <laughs> oh, thanks, Brad. <laughs> what did Brad say? Mama G, you can't bet, okay? I told you. LOL. Mm -hmm. I, I am a little fancy Nancy. Thank you. It's okay. You guys will lift me up. You know what it is? I can't drink coffee, so that's killing me. I had like a half a cup this morning. We have Deb at 110. 110 from Deb. Uh, Josh is in, Zygon, wow. That's good, Carl. I do bend my fingers back just for that. Unless I'm doing the golf clap. <laughs> or the Tijuana. The really hard one to do and show on camera is the Tijuana Mexico clap. That's the clap you get when you're in Tijuana. Now that was funny. All right, are we going to call it to Deb? I saw Josh go out. I saw Easton. Oh, Zygon. Zygon's the only one hanging in. Let us know. Carl's like, drink. We all love to be brainwashed. Hercules, Hercules. Hey, Frenchie. All right, Zygon, Zygon is out. Wow. We're going to sell it to Deb for 110. Did you get the Pokemon? I did, of course. All right. Just checking, just checking, just checking. <laughs> Deb Forish. Isn't it nifty how I can fold my fingers back like that for you guys? Mama G, what was my lock before this? Your lot before that was the sports slot, not with the Drake in it. To Vintage what? Treasures, Paul, for 80. Yeah. Oh, okay. I got it. I got it. Okay. Deb, also, what book do you want? Oh, yes. Books. Forgot about the books. Subway Congrats, series or Beth. Ichiro?
And Frenchie's also saying she'll buy something out of that lot from somebody, but I can't go back and see what it was. Now she said she would buy. Oh, okay. Subway series. Okay, you got it, Deb. I think she was interested in the signs uh, wrestler. What, what's his name? I don't know. Bruno San Martino. Bruno, Bruno, yes. Okay. Her husband loves Bruno. Yes. All okay, right. Deb. Awesome if you want to sell that, Deb, just reach out to Frenchie then. Pokemons. So there's roughly 120 regular cards, and then three, six, nine, ten holograms and holofoils. I'll flip the regular ones as quick as I can. Ten dollar start. Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff. IV sword. After an IV, IV sword too. T, can you yes. send that to Frenchie, please? Absolutely. So that's awesome, are... Deb. Thank you, Deb. Awesome. That's, that's really nice of you. All right. So, Deb Forish sending the Bruno to Frenchie. Absolutely. Mama G, are these the errors? I, I can't tell. I don't know how to know. Nope, that's a good one. That's not an error, so that's a normal. Okay, a normal one. Okay, so there's three of those. Tentacool. Abra, Debra, Cadabra. Going to reach out and grab you. And. Deb Perfect. said, no problem. She was all about the shack. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, there's some other good ones in there, too, Deb. Don't pass them up. <laughs> Got casual. It only, took, in it for only took me telling T like six times that there was a shack card. <laughs> Deb, let me know if you want the frame or not also on the Rob Moore photo. Oh, look, Pikachu. And he's got red cheeks. I don't know if red cheeks is better or yellow cheeks is better or. Piggy Puff. Got Connie in at 27. Look, there's no Spencer tonight. Latios, one of the legendaries. Ekans from Team Rocket. Horsey. Going through a little fast. The camera's having a hard time keeping up with the names. There's another Pikachu. Awesome, Deb. Thank you. Thank you. Got Connie in for 31. She's still trying to get some Pokemon cards for her grandkids. <laughs> <laughs> and look, there's no Spencer tonight. Mm-hmm. Nineteen ninety nine now. Bulbasaur. That one's also nineteen ninety nine. OK, 
Okay, so that's all the plain ones. And then these are reverse holograms or reverse holofoil gravlar. Perlia. Gold duck. A trainer card. Magnemite. And then these get into the better ones. So here are is the American version of Chansey and the Japanese version of Chansey, both holograms. And I'll show you the back. But Chansey is a good one. Thank you, Don, honey. Thanks for coming in. Here's Lapras. Hologram. That's a good Dirty card. Money. Cliff Fairy from base set two. Hologram. That's nice. And then I think this one's probably the best one out of these. Well, actually, the Lapras is really good. Though. Here's a Raichu EX. Holographic. And that's what you get. So we have Connie in at 40. Hmm. And I have for 40 two or better. I have some great news. What's the great news? The great news is that Frenchie will get a Bruno Mars picture, but so will Deb. Oh, that's awesome. There was Show two the in red. that. There was two Show. in there. I didn't even know it. Show the red cheek Pikachus. Okay. Um, Bonus. 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 Okay, here we go. Showing the red cheek Pikachus. Okay, this one has. No, nah, it doesn't have it anymore. It had a little piece of lint on the top corner. So you don't get just one red cheek Pikachu, not two red cheek Pikachus, but three. Wahaha, three Pikachus. Saxton comes in for 50. Three red cheek Pikachus. Brock always wanted that, that Pokemon. That way he could tell all the ladies, I took a Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> Dad jokes. A nice group. Ten holograms or holofoils or reverse holofoils. Multiple Pikachus. A Charmander. All right, Connie, now it's 75. Hey, Robert. Oh, that's farther away. I don't want it farther away. I want it up close. Sorry. Playing with the camera. Things I'll do to make it look bigger. Oh, God. He didn't just say that, did he? I, I, I was talking about the camera like I was touching the camera. It's okay to laugh, Tammy. That's why I you say I, things like that. Is Courtney here? No. Nope. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
Sexton's in at 90. I'm back here trying to work. I lost my email and everything. Thanks, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to make a 3D video game one day, and it'll be like in Brian's head. And it'll be like dodgeball. <laughs> In the dark. Saxton's in at 100. Thank you, Saxton. <laughs> I mean, it's like y'all think these emails get sent to yourselves. Hey, I write it down. I do. I keep track. <laughs> oh, Connie's crying. She's out. Connie, don't worry. I'll find you some Pokemons. They might not have holograms in them, but I'll find you some. Don't you worry. I can't find them out of this lot because a partner and me paid like sixteen hundred dollars for this lot. So, but I'll find you some. Don't you worry. So we're at a hundred. Looking for one ten or better. Anybody else? All in. All done. Believe these are going to be sold to Saxton. Saxton Cole looks like, yep. Congrats, sold, sold, sold. Okay, so it's going to do more comic books, but I'm not going to. I'm going to do some more heavy books on, I think these are on art, on like paintings. So the Impressionist Revolution. Impressionist Revolution. And this one is split on the spine on the inside. But it is all signed. It, this came from Ray Holland's collection. So a great man who truly patronizes the arts and who patiently understands those of us who work in that field's happiest of birthdays. Your creative department, Lori, Linda, Donna, and Sue, gave this book to Ray. Hi, um, Lucinda. Hey, Lucinda. So Ray collected paintings and stuff like that. He was also a historian locally, and he was the founder of Holiday Hair. And he also dealt in toys in my area. Sold him many things. Harry Hoffman, A World of Color with a dust jacket. I don't know why the dust jacket's off of the actual book, but Ray did donate a lot of money and stuff like that to different places so you can see here this one has a full-on drawing inside on like a rice paper thing. and now i present you with my favorite bird's portrait so that's actually drawn and everything from Harry Hoffman or something along those lines or Jeffrey Anderson I think did this actually but this was for a museum opening in 1988 so like a showing London Uncovered I just know the art books came from Ray London Uncovered is a bunch of great photos this is a first printing, first edition. It is printed in 1998. It has great images, hardback, with dust jacket. 
of different places in London. There is, this book's awesome. The Ultimate Mushroom Book. So this lets you know what kind of shrooms you should eat, which ones you should not. I need that it's one. 1995. Mama G said she needs that one. She wants to know what kind of shrooms she should be eating. This is a Christie's catalog from like Christie's Park Bonet Auction Gallery. Property of Alvin Friedman, the Klein Foundation. So these are all folk art and early pieces that were being sold in the auction. Um, I know this came from Ray Holland because Ray bought that at Christie's or Sotheby's for like 55000 And I think he bought that. And my friend Tom has this statue, this cigar store Indian. that came from this auction and a bunch of this other stuff. Then there's another hard book, hardcover book, The Many Colored Land and the Golden Torque. So hardcover, it's got a rough dust jacket on it. And then Lost New Orleans, so like the back stuff, the stuff that you don't normally see in New Orleans. And this is the last book, $10 start, 1980. And this is 1984, so it's a second printing. All right, we have Sergeant Spork in for 40 now. Josh has a question. Is Chris, Christie's auction book? Yes. Yes, from Christie's auction house. This was yeah, I've for sold one of the auctions before. they were doing. Yep. I've sold those before. 42 from Josh. And it wasn't unusual for Ray to, you know, go to places like this and spend, you know, a quarter of a million dollars, a half a million dollars at an auction. Like I said, I know where this cigar store Indian is sitting right now because Ray bought it and then he sold it to a guy that I deal with on a regular basis. Well, you just have a lot of hoity-toity people around really? you then, huh? Yeah, was he's, my, a lot. He's, he's <laughs> one of my lenders and the reason he's hoity-toity is, is I had him cash a check for me the other day because the bank wasn't open a $15,000 check and he charged me $500 to cash the check because I needed the cash to buy, to put towards the comic book collection. And oh. he needed it that day. So when you've got money, it must be nice. I guess so. The ATM laughed at me when I put in, you know, that I needed 20 grand for the comic books. 44 Tommy says pocket change. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any stuff in that Christie's magazine, F. Scotty? No, Scotty. Most of it was sold. Like I said, Ray bought it, and he had he was uh, one of the chairman of the board here in Allentown Historical Museum, and then he had his own museum that was the Lehigh Valley Historical and Industrial Museum. Uh, he actually had one of probably the best automobile collections in the U.S., sold it to the owner of the Seattle Seahawks, um, had a house in Florida near, uh, near Key Largo, his ex-wife took that. So, yeah, he was a he was a good buyer. I mean, people treated him differently because of how much money he had. Um, in a bad way, like they just were very dishonest with him, and I feel really bad for the guy because you know people would go to auctions in this area and bid each other up, knowing that they were going to sell the item to him. So no, he was now paying. you're killing my buzz, Brian. Yeah, sorry. That's okay. I can get you some shrooms out of that book. <laughs> okay, that'll work. <laughs> Maybe I should get a gummy book. <laughs> a gummy book? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> what, like a menu? <laughs> <laughs> Different flavors and strains. Someone doesn't smoke. You certainly have a lot of knowledge of it. <laughs> uh, some of the people I sell to do. It doesn't mean I don't. 
Like, I don't do that stuff, but... Me neither. I'm a sweet tea. You are a sweet tea. <laughs> we agree with that. So we have it sold to Scotty. Congrats, yeah. Scotty. Yeah. Nice lot, Scotty. And what was the total? 42? 44. 44. To write that on my list here. Okay, and then, and then, Chris Chatworth, Chris Chatworth, Chris Chatworth, little chit, little chit, I bought chit. I figured, if, for you. figured if I say his name three times, like you know, he might shop like Beetlejuice. Vintage toys. So this is the Texaco. Fire truck, it's class or not fire truck, um, fire helmet. I can't remember what year this was, but it's by WinMac. It is earlier. Um, it was a premium for kids. It came in a box, and you could push the button, and it would make like the siren noises and stuff. If you had batteries in it, there's no batteries in it right now. But this one's actually in really nice shape. The badge is really cool. So it's a Texaco fire truck with siren noises. We have a Kentucky Derby racing game from Whitman from whatever year that is, MCM XXX V3. 50, 87, 88. Is it from 88? Yep. Okay. So Whitman. Kentucky Derby racing game. We have this giant girder and panel set from the 1970s, I believe. 19, oh, no, I'm sorry, 1957. Nice. There. Girder and panel from Kenner. I do not know if all the pieces are there because, well, I'm not going to count them. But here's the book, this, and here's all the little vacuum y plastic plates and panels. Here's the girders. So it, the box is definitely full. So I would think KJ's going to start us off at 25. But very cool. And then the thing that I think is the neatest, which I'm going to zoom out. Camera. Nancy at 35. Shushia's at 50. Zoom out. I did. Okay, this is the last piece of this. This is pretty heavy. Space Maze Game by Druick in the original box. Nine, it says number 1960, so I don't know what year it was made, but it is wooden. Good night, Southern Fork. And it does not look like it's ever been played with. Here's the rules for it. Here are the balls. They are Brian, metal balls. Did you balls. say the hat worked? I don't know. I never put batteries in it. Okay. But it there's no corrosion in the battery casing. So it's actually in really nice shape. So these are the little metal balls that go with this. I know they're a little small. And then here is the space maze game. Really? You went there? <laughs> <laughs> What are, you, what are you talking about, T? You have such a dirty mind sometimes. <laughs> if I didn't know any better, I think I had this game. What year was on this game? Uh, there's a number of number 1960. So I don't know if it's truly 1960 or it is definitely 70s or older. Okay. I just don't remember what year the game came out. This is in the box. It is wooden. You can see like this. Wooden with three balls. Yep. Don't has an extra. Don't feed into his nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think he's waiting for me to laugh or say something? <laughs> I'm sorry, T. I forgot it's your channel. <laughs> I've corrupted all of them. I all of them. I see that. Hey, Sandy. So a nice vintage toy lot. 
You get four pieces, the Kentucky Derby game, the girder and panel set by Kenner, the Texaco Fire Chief helmet with the insert, like the, the noise-making part, and the awesome space toy game in the box. Nancy's at 70. We have Nancy at 70. Carl said he had labyrinth when he was young like this. Hi, Sandy. So we're at 70, looking for 75. Hi, Sandy Kirk. Hope you're feeling better and well. So we're at 70 with Nancy, looking for 75. You get the Kentucky Derby game, the girder and panel set, the Space Maze game, and the WinMac Texaco Fire Helmet. So looking for 75. We're going to start calling it down. Mia, if you could please let me know if you're in or out. <laughs> Nancy, Nancy. You're in trouble. <laughs> <gasps> oh, is she say, is she is she talking about because it's it's wooden? It's got yeah. wood. Oh, okay. Oh, the game's probably oh, okay. Like Mister Innocent over there. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I was like, is it because it's got wood? I don't know. Yeah. Oh Hi, gosh. Tom Miller. Hey, Tom. the number is the year. Okay, so. Ruth Bond said it is 1960, the Space Maze game. Oh, okay. Me is in at 75. And look, if it helps, I can put the balls in the hole. Like, so, so whenever I ship it, that doesn't bang <laughs> around. I just don't know if you can get it out of there or not, though. <laughs> no, maybe not if I leave them in the bag. Mia's in for 75 now. <laughs> Nancy's going to sell it to Mia. She's going, thank God. <laughs> Janine, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> Wait, is, is Robbie listening? Robbie, I found him. <laughs> no, he's not. He could get oh. Oh, poor little Martin's nest. I need the laughs tonight. Don't make them behave. <laughs> <laughs> and we're sold to Sam Kirk for 71 or 75. Sorry. Okay. Are we sold? Yeah, sold. sold. <laughs> okay. Okay, now it's your turn, T. It is okay. That's three already. Wow, you're fast. <laughs> that's that's what she said. I just had to. All right, let's, let's do a music lap. Let's do a music lap. I didn't know this was a marathon. I thought it was a race. <laughs> All right, Springsteen, the boss, A to Z, Beatlemania playbill. A book of Little Richard. We got Lucinda and Dave Jackson both saying that's what she said. <laughs> All right, Led Zeppelin, whole lot of lies. CMJ New Music Monthly, and that is from March 1995. Taylor Swift. Tour 2009 2010. Very nice illustrated book. The Art of Rock Visions. This one is shrink wrap, but I don't know if that means it's brand new or somebody just shrink wrapped it because you never know with these things. I am. Thanks, Tom. Thank you. 100%. Um, Hit Parader. Oh, this is me. Yeah, this is music, isn't it? Oh, is it? 
Yeah, it's got a whole bunch of stuff in here. Thanks, Tom. Thank you. Another hit parader. I love how we get the whole crowd going in on these jokes. Right? <laughs> I love you guys. June, 10 cents. This one's really old. It's, it, it is coming apart. I will tell you this. I'm going to put this in plastic for sure. Best songs. Bing Crosby is on the cover. I don't even want to open it. I'll put it in a plastic bag because it's, you know, it's at the point where the um, edging is starting to cr crumble. The Beach Boys. The Rock and Roll Trivia Quiz. Hey, Flippin' Hot Finds. Hey, Flippin'. Neil, Neil Diamond. There looks to be some newspaper clipping in here. <laughs> Anthony said he's never coming back because he's offended by all the sex talk ever since he got really? married. I mean, okay, Anthony, <laughs> you hang out with that other crowd. I know who you hang out with. I'm like, I don't believe him. You know where he hangs out. I know where you hang out, Ant. <laughs> um, and then I'm throwing in a few more Rolling Stones in this one. November 30th, 1978. Sid oh, glad, glad you got him flipping. Nancy. <laughs> May 31st, 1979. I want to have a cocktail with Nancy one day. <laughs> Just say. Oh, Nancy would be, Nancy would be fantastic. I want to have a cocktail with Nancy one day. <laughs> this is a, a newer one. This is... Oh, it's not. Huh. It's December 27th, 1979. Okay. Long story first. It was lost for 10 days. Wow. And then the last one is January 24th, 1980. Rock and roll tragedy. When 11 died in <laughs> Cincinnati. Nancy. Oh. Funny. She tried to play it off as innocent. Dave Jackson. <laughs> Dave I lost like, treasure return. Heard or something here of yours. For some reason, I'm thinking I got to go through everything this week because I'm going to clean house. So if you guys have <laughs> stuff sitting here for less than um, thirty dollars, either I'm going to just send you an invoice with shipping or see how much it's going to cost to ship it because I got to get some stuff out of here. And there's a little trick, everybody. If your bill's twenty eight and shipping's nine dollars, <laughs> just buy something quick for two bucks. Yeah, and I am gonna have. Um, well, I haven't spoken to Donna about it, but I think I think we're definitely gonna do ten dollar Tuesday this week, so you guys can make up for some of that stuff because I have a lot of like one off stuff. I want to just concert shirts and things like that. I'm just gonna sell some of them at ten bucks, not vintage, but. All right, so you got one, two, three. Hey, Beaumont Picker. And Hi, we're Beaumont. at Flippin' Hot Finds for 45. Four of the Rolling Stone magazines. And you got the Neil Diamond book with what looks to be a newspaper clipping. The Rock and Roll Trivia Quiz Book. The Beach Boys and the California Myth. Best Songs. And again, that one was... Um, God knows what year. The Bing looks like a little boy in this picture. It's got to be old. It's got to be old. It's got to be old. But I don't know where I find the year on these things. Be I'm our guest. Be our guest. Hit parade. Mm. 
Another hit parade. Connie in at 55. Hit parade. Connie's in at 60. Rock Visions. Taylor Swift. Country Music Journal. Much for you to envy jewelry said hi t how wonderful to see you your beautiful face glad oh, you were doing you, well maury. thank you maury good to see you thanks for coming in thanks little richard the life and times beatlemania playbill and the unofficial bruce springsteen the boss a to z and that's what you guys get. Oh, that's cool. A signed shirt by 20, 20 people from the Grand Ole Opry. Very cool. Nice. That's 70 with flipping hot finds. Yeah, you know, you, Brian, you know those, some of that stuff I have, the pictures and stuff. I have something mm -hmm. like that from the Grand Old Opry, remember? It's like a big picture with them, the signatures and stuff on it. It's oh, just yeah. going to be, you know what it's going to be like to ship that. Mm -hmm. Not fun. That's why I haven't started selling paintings yet. So flipping Hot Finds at 70. Connie is out. Thanks, Wings of Love. Thanks. Thank you, guys. Any more autographed items or cards? Robert, where have you been? That's all I've been selling is autographed stuff all night. But yes, there's more. <laughs> um, the next one's just going to be an ephemeral lot, but there are some signed pieces in it. <clears throat> you know, Anthony, if those were Smurfs, they'd be blue ass pickers. All right, who are we selling this to? Flipping Hot Finds for 70 <laughs> Yes. Okay. Sorry, Mama. Gee, do we wake you up? No. <laughs> <laughs> were you were you just trying not to laugh? I was no, very, she, I was muted trying to be quiet. Okay. <laughs> I think she was working on that good vibrations thing. Okay. No, I was not, Brian. <laughs> no, I meant listening to the Beach Boys. Right. Okay, so size doesn't always mean everything. Do not judge a book by its cover. <laughs> I had to get in on it. But it does uh, look big in your hands, T. Love, Dorothy Hamill. It does have some pocking in it, just so you know. It looks like somebody did pin it up a couple of times, like more than more than a couple of times. But it is assigned love, Dorothy Hamill. This is just a happy birthday. Um, do you think we wish you a happy birthday with the three stooges in it? Somebody threw it in here, so I thought it was cute. Um, but it, it is inscribed inside. There is a thank you card in here. Now, I'm sure it's not really signed by Rosalind and Jimmy Carter, but... <laughs> <laughs> This is a post-it notes, and I'll, I'll send the whole stack, but the top one is signed. But I have no idea if that's Ernie and Nasty. I have no idea whose signature that is. So you guys will have to do a little research and see, compare signatures, but that'll be in there. We've got these four little rascals, Buckwheat, Darla, Spanky, and Alfalfa. You did not just say spank me. <laughs> no, I said spank me. No, she said, she said Darla was spank me now, Falfa. <laughs> Your face is so red right now, T. <laughs> you guys, it's so crazy. I swear to God. God bless you. <laughs> this again is another card, but I guess it's just cool. But it is, it, it is a card, but it's just a cool picture. So I'll throw that in there. Then we have this postcard that has the U.S. postage 24 cents on it. It is a postcard. <laughs> this is another card, but again, it's Rosalind and Jimmy Carter. Again, I don't think it's really them, but 
They signed a lot of stuff. They really did. Welcome back, Carter. Didn't we? Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Again, it's just a card, but it's it's cool. You can detach it even if you want to. This, again, is Three Stooges. Ooh, look at this. We have a penthouse season's greetings. It's just a postcard. And if anybody knows who Ross is from WABC Talk Radio 77 here in New York, it is signed by him. And this is signed by Rasha K, also from Talk Radio. This is just an Andy Williams Harris card. Then there is this Holiday on Ice book, Silver Anniversary. Still has even the original insert in the book. This is from, I did know the year on this. I did look to see what the year is. Now I forgot, of course. I think it was 1970, if I'm not mistaken. I believe that's what it was. But, yeah, that's a nice little book. Hey, Crystal. This one is Roller Derby, pictorial yearbook. Now, the next piece is the coolest piece in the lot. I don't know if it's got value, but... It is signed Joe Herman's. Um, <clears throat> he was what looks to be uh, well, he won the America's Cup. So you have a letter there. The and twenty five with JI. 27 with crystal what did i say his name was i said his name wrong it, joe hermans is the guy who signed the letter but the actual athlete is dennis connor and that's him and that's his signed photo at the bottom um, <clears throat> so again i don't know a lot about trying to imagine skating on wheels other than the polyurethane right so that's that. And then a couple other pieces I put in this Washington, the na nation's capital. It's just all pictures of color pictures of Washington, D.C. That's Anthony even jumped in at 40. Book. Who did? Anthony, Anthony. Bluegrass Picker. Anthony. Um, and you guys, if you haven't subscribed to Bluegrass Picker, he has an awesome channel too. Yes. He plays the guitar. We're trying to get him to a thousand subs. Help us out, guys. And this is a book that says The Gateway Arch. Again, just lots of pictures in here. Um, just a cool book. Here is just a magazine. It is a complimentary magazine. It's got a bunch of stuff in here from... It was the first anniversary issue from February 1997. And then I'm going to throw in a James Dean sealed calendar. J-I-N's in at 42. And then this, out. Cool, this cool little photo. J.R. Sneed and Company Druggist. All right, so we get that. We get that. That. T, do you think Dorothy Hamill picture is an actual signature or a facsimile? You're asking the wrong person. No, it's an actual signature. Actually, there's two here. There's actually two in this lot. And... That's on the back. That actually is, that's not the person who it is. 
Oh, yeah, maybe it is. I'm confused on this. You guys are going to have to do your research on this because this picture is also signed on the bottom. You can't really see it in the grass, but I'm telling you, it's signs right across his feet. It's hard to tell on the camera. Let me see if I can focus it in. Maybe you can see it. I don't know. Yes, Miss A, I can see your question. I just asked T. Are we that lagging that bad? I think so. She's asking about the Dorothy Hamill signatures. Oh, okay. All right. We'll check those in a minute. But this, these are definitely, this is definitely signed. Yeah, because you can even see it through the back of the picture. So these two are definite. These are definitely, he signed these. Yes, that's not Dorothy Hamill, Nancy. The other ones were. <laughs> <laughs> No, uh, no, this is not Dorothy Hamill. No, no. All right. The Roller Derby book, The Holiday on Ice, The Harris, Andy Williams, The Signed Rasha Kane, The Signed Ross Britta, The Penthouse, Three Stooges, Welcome Back, Cotter, Signed Thank You from the Carters, The Postage Stamp, Tonto and Little. Bigfoot, I forgot who his sidekick was. Um, Alfalfa, Spanky, Dollar, and Buckwheat. Mystery signature. It, it could say Ernie Anastas. I, I just don't know for sure. He's, he's, he's a broadcaster here in New York, too. Uh, another thank you from the Carters. Three Stooges. And Dorothy Hamill. Dorothy Hamill. I don't, this one I don't know. This one could be questionable. I don't know. Okay, Miss A, we, we don't know. <laughs> I know who Dorothy Apple is. <laughs> oh, please leave it. It was funny. I know she's a nice kid. I, I grew up with Dorothy Hamill. I did my Hamill camels. <laughs> I'm not going to touch that one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll behave myself now. <laughs> All right. Are we selling this? We selling it. We selling it. We selling it. <laughs> we are at I don't even know who's bidding anymore J.I. at 42 <laughs> <laughs> Nancy's crying hey farmer hey farmer farmer you are missing a good time tonight farmer get a cocktail and come on in for sure, for sure. Where is that Gary not serving cocktails here at this hour? Is he kidding me? For sure, for sure, for sure. All right, who are we selling this to? Whoever bid the highest. I'm still waiting for the dollar because I want a big leg. <laughs> no, she's really not, is she? I don't know. Who what? Wait, what are we doing? Carrie! <laughs> <laughs> We're sold to J.I. Thank you, J.I. Oh, oh, my God. Thank God. Something to uh, send with your your uh, A-Tracks. <laughs> um, 42? Was yes, right? ma'am. Okay. <laughs> Brian's got a message to you in the private chat if you want to look at it. Oh, God, do I? <laughs> Well, it doesn't have to do with Dorothy Hamill camels. <laughs> no, no worries. No worries. All right. I'm going to do one here. It's a biggie. It's a big one. It's a big one. But it is what it is. It is. Oh. oh what is it? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> 
I'm a little confused. Brian, I'm going to put you <laughs> one for a minute. I messed something up. <laughs> oh, now I got to be ready? <laughs> My goodness. Okay, first lot. Let me change the camera view here. Oh my god, I'm dying. You guys stop. No, please don't. <laughs> please don't. Wait. Oh god, stop. Please don't. Wait. <laughs> she said, oh god, I'm dying. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I didn't know where we were going with this, but hey. 1983 Topps baseball sticker album. I'm going to save us here. 1983 Topps. These are the sticker albums that used to buy like those sticker packs that, that T sold earlier to go into these. So 1983 looks like Reggie Jackson on the front. 1984 sticker yearbook. I don't think these are, I think these are all unused. Miss A, I'm so sorry, honey, but your bid came in after this sold. You need to refresh because you are really lagging. Way lagging. Yeah. Wow. Way, way lagging. 1983. Here's a 1982 one. And I think these are all unused with no stickers in them. I think they're just old stock of the sticker books. I don't know what year this one is. I think it is earlier. I think this is 1980. So it lists the players' names that you would have put in those. Look, they even had the Cleveland Indians back then. Yankees. So there's two of those. Those are old stock as well. Another 1982. There's 1986 with Pete Rose in the front. There's two of those. In 1988, Panini took it over. And these are all unused. There's two of those. And then there is a National Baseball Hall of Fame 2012 induction catalog, 2012 holiday catalog, and 2013 induction catalog. So nice it's little sports lot. He's at 20. So there are, what, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So there's 11 of those albums and three of the National Baseball Hall of Fame booklets. So dating from 1980 up to 88. Okay, Miss Anonymous, if you have um, refreshed your screen three times, I need I need you to kind of close the screen out and reopen it. Josh is in for 22 now. Wow. 22 with Josh. And the condition's really awesome. On this. <laughs> Carl. Uh -oh. Your router flipped the breakers. <laughs> If you're on your phone, you're going to have to close it all together, close YouTube all together, and then reopen it and then go back in. Oh, man. Hi, Christine. Hi, Christine. Hi, Christine. my pre-printed have a negative effect <laughs> exactly <laughs> I don't know who did that but okay okay 
How we doing? Got D City has up full. So we have 25 with flipping hot finds. No, we have actually 26 with Josh. Flipping oh, hot finds. I need you to come in it. There you go. 28. 28. There we go. There we go. Now she's caught up. Yay. Welcome in, Christine. Hopefully that was a good experience. <laughs> It had to be. She's not in jail. She's here. <laughs> Thanks, Carl. Appreciate that. All right, Josh is going to be out. Okay. So who do we have at what? Flippin' Hot Finds at 28. Okay, we sold. Not yet. All right, we're sold. So flipping hot finds. Okie dokie. Now you're going back to you. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Well, you you had said you just had to do something. So well, I did. I, I it, it I wasn't had, my turn yet. I know, I know. I was my last lot, but I I I had to get like I, for some reason I don't know why, but I had this big postcard lot all set up and it fell apart. <laughs> <laughs> so. All right. Yes, postcards. Some are posted. Some are not. Nineteen fifty three. This is nineteen forty two. This one doesn't have a stamp on it, but it has writing on it. This one is blank. I see T on the screen talking about, yeah. I, I reset my modem. Oh my God, she did reset her modem. You won the last one. Oh no, she did. She win the last lot. No. Oh. Okay. Sorry. She came <laughs> in at too late, and then she had to figure out how to read. Okay. Get everything. Nineteen oh seven on this one. Oh, there's actually is it two in this one? Oh, yeah, there might be two postcards in here, it looks like. Let me take them out because I think they're stamped. Look at Carl Bragan. See? <laughs> so look at you the <laughs> 1907 on that one. And that one is no, I can see it's Poughkeepsie, New York, but I can't see. I just see a four, so I'm not sure. She says, my sweet Jesus, that was a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> You're good now. You're good now. It's all good. It's all good. I'm going to try to, like, flip through these as quick as possible because I know postcards, they can be, like, very time consuming. Yeah, especially when you have to count a thousand in some of them. <laughs> well, I don't know if I'll have a thousand in here. Let's exaggerate. Maybe fifth. I don't know. Not I sure. was implying because of me having to count the other day that, that one lot that was over a thousand postcards. Oh. Do you have any horses in there or donkeys? Tea might help the bid. <laughs> no, no, hairless, hairless horses. Um, horse ass. 1916 on that one. 1937, the year my mom was born. 
See, Nancy's asking, is there a pic with a horse's ass in it? <laughs> oh my god, I have no idea. It's the VA. I have no idea. She's just joking because that was in the lot that she dropped on Kyle. All right, I do know this. Some there is some cool planes in here besides these that I can tell you. 1950 on that one. Yes, T. It was a great battle that Nancy dropped on Kyle. Okay, 1938. Yeah, my dad was born. And 1943. Hi, farmer. <laughs> farmer. Farmer. Here. Did you get a cocktail? Are you relaxing? Nineteen seventeen. This is a cool one. This is a little newer one, but it is a cool one. USS Enterprise. So that is a little newer. That is from the National Air and Space Museum. These are from Pan Am. The American Clipper. There's two of those. This isn't a postcard, but I'll leave it in here. It has something to do with F-16 fighter falcons. D-Day. There's a lot of planes now. These are going to be... It doesn't really say where they're from, but... Farmer's like, change the subject. What are we changing the subject? <laughs> I think I made too much dinner. We will be having barbecued pulled pork and barbecued pulled pork tacos for a week. Hey, that doesn't sound like a bad thing. It definitely does not sound like a bad thing. For sure. Yeah, farmer's problem is he wants to change the subject because he doesn't. He's owed me a box for like four months now. Of what? He's supposed to be sending me something. He just uh, keeps forgetting. Yours and his is finally going out tomorrow. What's wrong, Mama G? You don't have a box of your own? I do, but he's sending me something <laughs> special. <laughs> Shut up, Brian. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, God, help us. <laughs> The high right. bid is Easton for 22. Can All I get right. 24? We're going to call it. We're going to call it if there's no other interest because Well, this Carl just asked what the bid was, so that's why I'm letting him know. Oh, okay. Oh, this this one is um sent to the guy, this Bill guy, this Bill Steimers again. This And a Saludos de Chicken Itza. It's coming from Mexico. And unfortunately, the stamp is all the way off on that. So I have no idea what the stamp is. And Jeffrey, do we have a registration from Jeffrey? Jeffrey Stevens? Stevens? I will yep. have to look. Yep. You can, oh, you can wrench him. Yep. Yeah. You're good, He's Jeff. From... You're good. Thank you. I mean, we're going to drop the um, registration link for us. If, if you don't mind filling it out, Jeff, we appreciate it. This way you'll be eligible. I mean, you'll be eligible as long as Brian sends us your information anyway, but it's just um, nice for us to have it on our spreadsheet. Because I'm going to have to manually put in a few that Brian sent me last night. We've got Nancy at 40. Do you have any idea how many you have in there, T? No, I really don't. But this is what I haven't gone through so far. So, 
Jeffries at 45. I'm going to not show the backs if they're just um, if they're not stamped because they're all pretty much the same. They just explain the plane. Um, but if they're stamped, I'll turn them around. It just moves it faster. Brian, did you see the email Farmer sent you? He doesn't know if he sent it to the right email. He's not that smart. <laughs> um, did he just send it? I have no idea. It's really not that hard to be honest with you, Farmer, because it's Brian. It's I'm sorry, it's Mr. Buys a lot at gmail.com. Yeah, it's not that hard. It's Brian. Wait, no, it's not. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Did you add the numbers in there? It's got some numbers, T. Oh, it does. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Buys a lot, 795 at gmail.com. Sorry. I, sorry. It's okay. I forgot Brian's weight was in there. Yep. It was a few weeks ago. <laughs> Carl's like, oh my God, I'm drunk. <laughs> Wish I was, Carl. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't think <laughs> I don't think that's gonna happen for me for a while. Um, I'm gonna throw another one of these. I have one of these postcards. Oh, it's not even really a postcard, but and and it's signs. I'll throw that in there. John Wayne. Gacy. Oh. Brian. Yes. Do you know who that is? <laughs> Not John Wayne Gacy. <laughs> is it the Duke? No. No, that's Ronald Reagan. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't even at the computer. Molly Ringwald. No, that's not Molly Ringwald. He had a—he almost had a mustache. No, this is Molly Ringwald. No, I know. I know. I'm just messing with you. Oh my god! <laughs> just got back. How many total? Oh my god! Really? Oh, this isn't really a um, postcard. Oh, this is signed by Lee Iacocca. It's a stack. <laughs> it's this many. <laughs> I'll hold the stack up when I'm done. He said, just an estimate's fine, T. Don't yell at him. <laughs> He's like, no, Jake, I didn't say that for real. <laughs> Here, have a Snickers. <laughs> I do need a Snickers, don't I? I shouldn't, though. I really shouldn't. You no, can't you cannot have no nuts. Snickers. I yeah. can't have a Snickers. I forgot. <laughs> I wouldn't have a Snickers anyway. I'd sooner have a cocktail. Are you kidding? It's another one with Lee Iacocker on the back. Good old Lee Iacocker. <laughs> Shut up. You made <laughs> James is saying, don't ban me, T. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. There are worse people I could ban, James. Trust me. <laughs> oh, that's true, Christina. But you know what? To be honest with you, that's not my thing. Like chocolates and stuff. Like, I mean, I like chocolate. Don't get me wrong. But it's not like it wouldn't be my go-to. I love chocolate. And it's not just because it melts in my mouth and not in my hands. I can't, James. I really can't. I know. I would love to. I would really love to. These are from the Milestones of Flight Gallery National Air and Space Museum. You know, gummies don't bother your stomach like alcohol does, T. Just saying. Says the devil on your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, really? Gummies? Yeah, but it has sugar in it, right? I they can't. Those are my caps. Are you kidding? Gummies? <laughs> Don't, don't they make them in brownies anymore? Well, of course they do. Brownies are fattening. Right? <laughs> That's not well, sugar free. With this freaking diet they have me on, I, I don't know how I'm not going to get fat mashed potatoes and white bread. Well, they do have all kinds of sugar free things to eat. Regular food and gummies. Okay. I know. Fama had some gummies today. He's saying true story, Mama G. <laughs> gummies are great. They have sugar-free gummies. Does Christine Rose know the kind of gummy? Oh, this one has... This is another one to Bill Steimers. This is... Oh, like, she knows. Okay. She knows. <laughs> Just a second. Oh, this is, this is KC. This is the stadium. Told you guys this was a big lot. I'm sorry. I've got Nancy right. at 75. Oh. Carl's like, they have really good gummies, too. Awesome. They do. Hey, Jenny. All right, this is a book. It's Toronto. Is the lot as big as Brian's hands? Universal Studios. It's not that big. <laughs> these are one of these elongated. Well, so are those other ones in the book. There's another book, Dallas, Texas. What what is James saying? Rolling on the floor, laughing. What? Sorry, one too many martinis. <laughs> because he was the one that Man. said, "Is the lot as big as Brian's hands?" <laughs> and he's apologizing for drinking too much. <laughs> no apologies necessary here. Trust yeah, me. Yeah, we're going crazy. We're a fun group as long as Courtney's not here watching. Right. <laughs> Is Courtney here? <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's it. I'm 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 closing it out. Let's 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 sell this thing. Let's sell it. Let's sell it. Let's sell it. You guys are driving me crazy. Brian and I want to eat dinner. Well, Brian wants to eat dinner. Live, I only live like an hour and a half from Hershey. That's a chocolate factory. Oh, Hershey. I've been to Hershey. I'm not counting them. There's I, I, easy, easy. We're at 80 with Jeffrey 80. Stevens. Easy 250 here for sure. And T's not talking about her weight. <laughs> Ryan! <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait. She said 795 was my weight. <laughs> okay, fine, but still. Adam's in an if we're having a If we're having a food fight, we're having a food fight. All right, we'll have a food fight. <laughs> okay, we're not done end? selling these. I've got 30, Carl I got, at 94. It's 830. I got to pop a pill. Yeah, she doesn't want to get pregnant. <laughs> so, I don't think I have any water left. Shoot. <laughs> Robbie. Ring the bell. You should have a little bell up there. I should. I did have a bell I was ringing here. See? Little shock parlor. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of pill? Are they gummy pills? <laughs> I don't know, but I just found a few more I'm going to throw in here. Jeffrey's at a hundred. And I actually was nice. I said she's not two fifty. <laughs> well, Adam, no, I need, I'm not. I need one. Shoot me now. now. <laughs> 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 
my son got on the scale the other day and he cried because he's 270 pounds. Uh, now he's six foot tall, but he still. is. He's a big boy. He is a big boy. Yeah. But he's at the have... doctor's office. And I was like, I was trying to make him feel better. I was like, Cody, maybe it's kilograms, not pounds. And then he did the conversion on his phone and he, it's like 595 pounds. I didn't know. I was just joking. I. Adam's in for 111. Where's Donatella? T. Farmer wants to know if you're taking birth control pill. No, I'm taking my medicine. <laughs> <laughs> <No. laughs> my God. <laughs> and they asked if he looks like the mailman. <laughs> Well, he's kind of tall to be your kid, Ryan. You're short, right? Oh, mine? Yeah. I, All right. Yeah, we're going to spill him to Adam. I, oh my God. I'm 5'8 and a half, 5'9 ish. Uh, and my license says I'm 5'10, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm like 5'8. All right. I'm putting you on. <laughs> She's like, I'm done. <laughs> She's like, that's it. Come on, you're getting bids. You're getting bids. I think we sold. We sold to Adam. Congratulations, Adam. Okay, I got a shirt lot. I haven't done one of these yet tonight. So, and because we know we have a lot of Boston fans here. <clears throat> T. Oh God, help us. The finals. Look, Boston got into the finals. The NBA championships in 2008. This is a majestic shirt with pretty loom, and it is a size large. Here is a Boston Red Sox 2007. Oh, look, they were World Series champions, too. This is a Lee sports shirt, size medium. It's a sweatshirt. I got to go get some water. I'll be right back. Okay. 2008 NBA champions Adidas. This one is a size of it. A large. The collar is stained. It needs to be washed. Washed. I guess I should look at the back of these two. Uh, the green one has stuff in the back, like all the players. So there's those three. And a smaller lot. A Boston Red Sox t-shirt. This is Nike. No tag. The tag's been ripped out, so it's probably a medium or a large in size. Boston Red Sox. So $10 start. Shipping is included. Boston Red Sox and Boston Celtics. The sweatshirt's really nice. It's got a big old embroidered patch on it. Got Josh opening us up at 10. Nancy coming in at 20. Oh, Christine, that's awesome. I actually like Boston. Boston's really cool. So we have Nancy in at 20. Miss Anonymous and Josh, we'll need 22. They're all good brands, Lee, Nike, Adidas, and Majestic. Josh is in at 25. And if you guys need to see any of them up close, just let me know. I have Nancy in at 27. Josh is in at 29. And again, everybody who is still here with us, thank you guys so much for being here. I know we're a little rowdy tonight, but we're just having a good time. Hopefully you guys don't take any offense to anything I say on T's channel. 
my channel is a little different, but you know, we're, we're here to have a good time and enjoy each other's company and get some laughs in and hope. So make sure you guys hit the thumbs up for T and leave comments after the auction. Just say we had glitched. A good time. She's not in there right now. Okay. She went so to go get at, a drink. Yeah, she went to go get water. We're at 35 with Nancy. So looking for 37 or better. <laughs> I just don't want her to get, you know. We want her to have lots of thumbs up and not so many thumbs down. <laughs> Anthony, there's, it's not possible to offend you. You've been in with Tommy too long. You're you're in the Tommy closet. Okay, so I believe we're going to be sold. What did I miss? What happened? I'm busy talking and I'm muted. Uh, it just it glitched. It put okay. it into the three, to the triple scheme. So we're at 35. Connie Johnson, what's up, girl? Hi, Connie Johnson. Hi, Connie Johnson. Yeah, yeah, what Christine said. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Something about some purple haze, and I don't know. They want to know if they get a discount for offensive language. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, God. What did I really miss? <sighs> All right. Congratulations, Nancy. Is Brian giving me the finger? I saw it, T. I saw it. That's how you say it. I saw it. Spray and frozen. I know. He's still shaking. <laughs> is there a <laughs> He's there? writing. What is he what? saying? <laughs> Is that is that is that your is that are you waving the white flag? <laughs> <laughs> no. What is he doing? I don't know. Okay. I'll okay, T. I guess you're <laughs> up. My headset. My headset died. Oh, I couldn't figure out what the heck was wrong. No, I have one more lot. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> we sold that to Nancy for 35, Brian. See. Can he hear us? I don't he, know. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> can you hear me? Oh, now we can. Okay, that's because it's on my phone, like your the microphone is now my phone and not my headset. Ah, got it. Okay, so let's go with comics and lobby cards all together. Wow, comics so, and lobby cards. Just because the lobby cards are kind of related in. And I like to go, please, Eddie. So Roger Rabbit, this is a full set. And that's Jessica. <laughs> right, Nancy. <laughs> so yeah, the full set of Roger Rabbit. There's Baby Herman. Baby Herman. Awesome movie. Yeah, fantastic movie. So it's a full set of lobby cards. And but and but wait, there's more. So not our, not only are we going to do this awesome lobby card set, 
we're going to do a double bunch, like double dutch, of comic books. Wow. Casual uh, Flipper is going to come right in at 25. Because this is my last lot. So check this out. Josh is in for 27. So that's roughly 100 comics. Plus the lobby cards. Plus the lobby cards. Vintage is in at 50. Oh, Pharma comes in for 50. Here's the Vintage Demon. So this is the original ones. The Demon Etragon. There's Lobo. A hundred from Jeffrey. Hercules, Hercules. <laughs> Hercules, 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 Hercules. <laughs> KJ, you're lagging. <laughs> the demon. Janine, you're lagging. <laughs> demon and Lobo. We got Batman Jeffrey and for Benji. So there's at least a hundred. There might be like a hundred and three or a hundred and four comics. Look. An older one, number 517. Cosmic Odyssey, this is like a graphic novel. The Demon, number one, and this is an older book. Book number two, oh wait, book four. This one says book four as well. I don't know. But this one, so this is an error. Check this out. So this is issue number two. This is issue number three, and this is number four. But if you read it, on the top, it says book four of four instead of two of four. So it's an error in the printing. They actually messed up the printing. Book three of four and book four of four. So that's the full set of those. More of the demon. 110 from Josh. More of the demon. Batman and Robin Eternal. That's an awesome cover. The Mark of Cain. Batman and Scarecrow team up. Okay, so not only do we have the lobby cards for Roger Rabbit, now we have 100 comics, and some of them are misprinted. Yep. Correct. And we're yeah, at just, I don't know if they ever made it. A correct printing of this. I just find it, you know, odd because issue number two should be marked book two of four at the top. But as you can see there, it's number two right here. And this one is number four right here. So it is supposed to be number two of four up there. And, and we do have the full set, all four of those. So you get those. And we will put this up here. And if the bidding gets high enough, I might add more stuff because I have a short box of comics from that load sitting over here. Demon, Batman Eternal, lots of Batman. Batman and Superman, New 52. Batman and Superman. And these are all in unread condition. Like these are all in really high grade. And there's like two copies of most of these. Farmer's out. He just wanted the Robert Ger Rabbit, and we have Josh at 110. Birds of Prey. Birds of Prey. Birds of Prey number one. That's actually a good book. A different Birds of Prey one. Birds of Prey two. More birds of prey. The demon. So over a hundred books and the Roger Rabbit set. 120 to Jeffrey, 130 to Josh. Oh, we're getting close to some extra books. 140 to Jeffrey. And the extra books are gonna be good, guys. I'm gonna add them in anyway. I'm literally just grabbing a handful. So there could be some key books here. Um, I haven't looked at these. I just 
grabbed a box earlier. So, we but you can see it's new bitty, bitter picky Nikki at one fifty. Marvel Tales Spider Man, but this is Cloak and Dagger. I don't know if this is like a first appearance of them or not. One sixty, Josh. Sixty cent cover. Another Spider Man sixty cent cover, number one forty two. Marvel Tales Spider Man number one forty. One thirty nine. 105 shadow of the vulture so now we're adding in a bunch of older books 60 cent cover number 162 158 161 this one has some staples uh is rusty on that one 157 of marvel tales spider-man 156 155. These 170 are 70 to Picky Nicky. 154. 153 with Craven. These are great. 152, 149, 150, and 151. So nice lot of earlier Marvel Tales Spider Man. 180 now from Josh. Spencer. So you get all of those comics. So there's probably like 120 or 130 books. Plus the Roger, Who Framed Roger Rabbit lobby card set of all eight lobby cards. Picking Nikki's at 200. Carl's in at 210. Jeffrey's out. Two twenty-two from Adam. Josh is out. He's like, damn, congrats whoever wins. It's a nice lot. All right, Carl, let us know. Two thirty-two is the next bid. Yeah, there's over 100 comics and the Roger Rabbit. Yeah, there's over 120. I just put in that other stack. There yeah. Was more than 100 before that. Carl's regretfully out. Oh, is that where you disappeared to, Spencer? Well, it's good for you, though. What, rehab? <laughs> no, his seven mile hike he went on. Oh. And it looks like Adam's going to steal this away. It, Adam, 222. Wasn't that a show? I don't think it had that many twos. Wasn't it Adam 22? I don't remember now. Yeah, we sold. We're sold to Adam for 222. Okay. Woo -woo. Adam. Congrats, Adam. Guys, thank you so much again for coming in today and spending four hours of your time with us. Oh, Adam 12, room 22. Dean, see, you're so smart. <laughs> room 222. <clears throat> Rehab, I need that. <laughs> Pharma. I'm not I'm not that old, so I wouldn't know that T, you know. I was just guessing. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for coming in. We appreciate it as always. Um, Brian and T will be back on Tuesday. Brian at his one to four-ish time. And yep. T and Donna from her five-ish time. <laughs> um, please stop in and see both of us. We appreciate it. Or I should say all three of us, right? Um, we really appreciate it. If you guys were new here on my channel tonight or last yesterday, thank you so much. I so appreciate it. If my people are here, please make sure you're over at Brian subscribing. Please leave a comment in the video. Um, it does help the al algorithm. And as always, we appreciate a thumbs up. All right, guys. <clears throat> Have a great night. And we'll see you Tuesday. Thanks. <laughs>